Chapter 2081 The Stone Races Shai Lingfen Bidang Rushuang stood up and actually gave the slightest bow to Nangong Zuayu. Let me apologize for my conduct the other day. It was my mistake. Nangong Zuayu couldn't believe her own ears. The prideful and even somewhat conceited Bidang Rushuang was apologizing to her? She had never dared to imagine such a thing and hastily returned the bow. Caught off guard. She didn't say anything in return. However, that doesn't mean that we're friends. We'll just settle things individually. The enmity between our two families will be settled one day. The sin of harming others cannot be washed away with time. Added Bidang Rushuang. As soon as she said this, her mental realm brightened. When all she had wanted to do was defeat Nangong Zuayu. Her mental realm had been messy, and it was only through Long Chen's reminder that she found that her desire for vengeance had clouded her Dao heart, that could lead her astray without her even realizing it. Now that she had apologized to Nangong Zuayu, she felt more relaxed than she had in a long time. Nangong Zuayu nodded. I know, if our positions were switched, my self-control might not have been as good as yours. A wrong is a wrong, and quibbling about it is meaningless nor can the flow of time erase it. Long Chen clapped his hands. Exactly. There's no way for us to resolve such a thing right now because there's no key to unlocking the problem. Time can't wash away sins, but it can allow us to slowly find a way to resolve things. Karma exists between all things, and it simply means that we haven't reached the time to resolve that karma yet. Since the problem can't be resolved yet, let's not be hostile. Come. Let me treat you two to some good fruit. Shameless. Does any of this belong to you? Mocked Bidang Rushuang. This was all the Dongfang families. How was he treating them? Nangong Zuaya was truly startled. Just when did Bidang Rushuang get so close to Long Chen? Her words flowed out of her mouth without hesitation or worry. Let me tell you. My hometown has many elegant ways of eating fruit. I've only shown you one. Long Chen picked up another fruit. Now. I'll display an even more difficult, bastard, if you dare to repulse me, I'll throttle you, Bidang Rushong's hair stood on end once more, I'm a scoundrel, but you're a lady, so try to preserve your dignity, said Long Chen upon seeing Bidang Rushong about to attack him, he hastily changed the subject, it doesn't matter who's treating, eat whatever you want, Nangong Zuayu sat down in a refined manner, she didn't go for any fruit, instead, she reached out and held a teacup. Only then did the attendant recover from her shock, and she hastily poured the tea for Nangong Zuayu. Nangong Zuayu nodded and said her thanks. Fairy Zuayu is truly a warm and educated person. Just looking at you, I feel refreshed and content, praised Long Chen. Nangong Zuayu's warm air was like Chu Yao's, except she was like water, gentle and soft. It was like there was nothing in this world that could make her angry. She would always be like the calm surface of a lake. Long Chen's praise made Nangong Zuayu smile slightly, and she was about to say a few humble words when Bidang Rushuang pounced. Long Chen, are you cursing me for being coarse and wild? No, no, definitely not. Naturally, he could not admit such a thing no matter what. The attendant covered her smile. In her eyes, peerless geniuses like them were either icily arrogant or had strange temperaments. They were always hard to get along with. However, the three of them were together, with Nangong Zuayu being warm and Bidang Rushuang being frank like they were close. As for Long Chen, this seemingly unbearably coarse fellow was able to make them laugh with one word and jump with another. Although she knew that she shouldn't laugh, she almost made a sound several times. Fortunately, the three of them were amicable. Others might have long since kicked her out. More experts began to arrive. Suddenly, Long Chen stopped talking, focusing on one very large figure. This newcomer was three meters tall and three meters thick. He was a giant fatty with a bald head. His large arms were bare, while his neck was non-existent. He wore a garb that Long Chen had never seen before. If he was just a fatty, then that wouldn't be too bizarre. However, there were actually pearl-sized swellings on his skin, with each lump being a sparkling kernel. The entire room's atmosphere grew heavy with his arrival. Long Chen sensed an immense feeling of danger from him. When this newcomer turned his face over in his direction, Long Chen felt a chill. His face also had large lumps just like a toad. But more shockingly, 
His eyes were two violet amethysts. The stone race is Shai Ling Fang. He has actually come out. Even Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuiu's expressions changed. Just who is he? Asked Long Chen. You don't even know of the stone race. Bidang Rushuang raised a brow. Ah, he was once more being looked down at. Long Chen was speechless. Was this fellow really so famous? It was Nangong Zuiu who said. When it comes to the stone race, there probably aren't many records in the current era. They are taboo. Even in the ancient era, no one liked talking about them. So it's understandable that you don't know them. The stone race is not human. They are a strange life form. No one knows where they came from. But it was like a mass of stones had suddenly come to life. No one was capable of figuring out where they came from. Because they were vicious killers that attacked on sight. They appeared and vanished on the continent a few times. Every time they appeared, a storm of blood swept the continent. This Shai Lingfeng is said to be the stone race's second strongest existence in all of its history. During his generation, the entire continent was almost crippled by him. If all the experts of that time had not joined together to heavily injure him, the entire human race of the continent might have been eliminated. The stone race was the nightmare of the continent at that time. But then they suddenly vanished. I didn't expect them to finally reappear after so many years. Their second strongest in all of their history? Then who was the strongest? Asked Long Chen. The strongest was the famous stone emperor, Shai Changsheng. He is one of history's three emperors, answered Nangong Zuiu. Long Chen sucked in a cold breath. The three emperors were the only existences said to be able to challenge the sovereigns. That's why you absolutely can't provoke him. He's extremely terrifying, warned Bidang Rushuang. I never provoke others. But if others provoke me, I'm not going to let them bully me. That includes every one of my enemies here. They were the ones who first provoked me. But tell me, if he has such an enmity with the human race, how could Dong Fang Yuyang invite him here? Asked Long Chen. That's due to the passing of eras. The dark era is coming. And if the martial heaven continent's life forms wish to survive, they must unite. We cannot be fighting amongst ourselves at such a time. Or once the dark era comes, the martial heaven continent will be powerless to resist. The world will be destroyed. Before this tribulation comes, we must set aside all our enmities. But is doing such a thing really possible? In all of history, only five people have ever been able to unite the continent, said Nangong Zuiu. The only ones who were truly peerless in this world were the sovereigns. Only they had been able to unite all the races. Scram. A voice like stones rubbing together rang out. With a startled cry, one of the female attendants was sent flying, her blood spraying. This attendant had tried to pour tea for Shai Lingfen when he had sat down. But as soon as she had picked up the teacup, she was sent flying by an invisible force. The impact knocked her unconscious. I hate water the most. Did you not know? Demanded Shai Lingfeng. There were over ten experts sitting in their own seats, and seeing this scene made them frown. Just how could Shai Lingfeng attack such a weak attendant? However, none of them made a move. This place was the Dongfang family's territory, and it wasn't up to them. Very quickly, an elder walked over, but unexpectedly, he actually apologized to Shai Lingfeng. My sincerest apologies. This little girl didn't know about this taboo of the stone race. Please forgive her. Do you want another attendant? Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head. Just what medicine had the Dongfang family taken this morning? How could they not give such a person a good slap in the face? The stone races people can't touch water. Water is the bane of their crystal runes. That girl clearly wasn't warned about this before. But it really is beneath someone of his status to attack such a weak girl. Said Nangong Zuiu. Shai Lingfeng's conduct had clearly drawn her disgust. Shai Lingfeng snorted at the elder. Just take all this away so I don't have to look at it. The elder immediately took away all the tea, and only then did Shai Lingfeng sit down. However, he immediately stood back up and looked in Long Chen's direction. More accurately, he was looking at Nangong Zuiu. What wretched luck. Shai Lingfeng's expression grew ugly upon seeing Nangong Zuiu and a barely concealed killing intent appeared in his eyes. Chapter 2082 Confrontation Silence rang out after Shai Lingfeng's words. Everyone looked at Nangong Zuiu. 
This Shai Ling Feng was just like the legend said. He was vicious and domineering, not giving face to anyone. He was actually directly provoking Nangong Zuayu. The formation around Long Chen's group was a simple one that prevented outsiders from hearing them, but they could hear what was said outside. This Shai Ling Feng is courting death. Bidang Rushuang's expression was chilly. Although she and Nangong Zuayu were enemies, Shai Ling Feng was provoking not just Nangong Zuayu, but also the everlasting families. On the other hand, Nangong Zuayu merely smiled lightly, tasting her tea as if she hadn't heard his provocation. Seeing no reaction from Nangong Zuayu, Shai Ling Feng smiled mockingly. He then turned to Long Chen. Little fellow, you're Long Chen, demanded Shai Ling Feng. Long Chen frowned and asked Bidang Rushuang, What is wrong with this fellow? Is he an idiot? I didn't even do anything, but it seems he wants to find trouble for me. Perhaps it's because your face is blacker than his. Maybe evil people are drawn together by fate. Bidang Rushuang couldn't help finding it funny. Brat, I'm talking to you. Are you deaf? Demanded Shai Ling Feng. Are you an idiot? Who said I had to answer you? Are you my son? Sneered Long Chen. However, as soon as he said this, he regretted it. Shai Ling Feng's face was so ugly. Wasn't he cursing himself like this? Ah, I misspoke just now. What I meant is, are you an idiot? Fairy Zuayu can't even be bothered to look at you. Are you taking that disdain for fear Nangong Zuayu couldn't help shaking her head? Long Chen really had no patience. Bidang Rushuang smiled though. You're courting death. Shai Ling Feng suddenly roared, and killing intent enveloped Long Chen. Brother Shai, please stop. Dong Fang Yuiang appeared in the room like a spring breeze, a displeased expression on his face. Brother Shai, why bother? This place was the Dong Fang family. Shai Ling Feng was too big for his britches noveloon.com Long Chen insulted me, so I want to kill him. Even with Dong Fang Yuiang present, Shai Ling Feng's killing intent didn't dissipate. Brother Shai, this place is the Dong Fang family, not your stone race. I hope you can be clear on that. This gathering is being hosted by my Dong Fang family, and it's for everyone to help each other and develop. The Dong Fang family is doing this for the Martial Heaven continent, but we are not pushovers. If someone takes advantage of our kindness, then don't blame us for kicking you out. Although Dong Fang Yuiang was rather tactful, there was anger in his eyes. The way Shai Ling Feng had treated one of their attendants was already pushing things. They had made a concession by not punishing him for it. However, Shai Ling Feng continued pushing things, and there was no way they could accept it. Dong Fang Yuiang's tone was firm and embodied the resolve of his everlasting family. If Shai Ling Feng continued acting like this, he would have to scram. Shai Ling Feng nodded. Then I'll give you face and not quibble with him here. Pointing at Long Chen, he said. Brat, just wait. Once we're out of the Dong Fang family, I'll smash you to bits. Long Chen didn't reply to Shai Ling Feng's provocation directly. He looked Shai Ling Feng up and down and then whispered into Bidang Rushuang's ear. Are those crystal things on his scabs worth some money? Having Long Chen in such close contact made Bidang Rushuang turn red. But then she jumped at his words. He was actually placing his sights on Shai Ling Feng? You idiot. With the formation back up. Why are you getting so close? Oh, sorry. It was a habit. Can you answer my question? Long Chen hadn't realized that. But after doing bad things, he didn't like to discuss them. This fellow belongs to the stone race, a strange life form. Their origins are unclear, but they were born by the earth. What can be said for sure though is that every part of their bodies is an absolute treasure. Their flesh is tough like stone. Blade and saber cannot pierce it. Water and fire cannot damage it. They essentially have no weaknesses. On the ground, they can absorb the earth's energy. In the sky, they can absorb the energy of the stars. As for those so-called scabs of his, they are natural crystals, with each one being its own world. It is said that each crystal contains the Tao, and through them, it is possible to see the mysteries of the world, said Bidang Rushuang. In other words, he's worth a lot of money? Good, good. I'll be doing some big business soon then. Long Chen's eyes lit up like a hungry wolf that had seen meat. You can't be serious. Bidang Rushuang felt a chill from that look. I'm always serious when it comes to making money. I'm so poor right now. 
If I don't make some money, I'll starve. But don't worry, I'll make sure to pay your portion. And of course Fairy Zuiu's portion too. I won't pocket all the profit myself. Promised Long Chen. No, I don't need a portion. Bidang Rushuang shook her hand. What kind of joke was that? If it was known that a genius of her grand everlasting family was conducting such business with Long Chen, the Bidang family would become the laughing stocks of the continent. Furthermore, the closer she got to Long Chen, the more she felt that he wouldn't lie about something like that. He really would do it. She definitely didn't want to be implicated. However, Nangong Zuiu merely smiled without saying anything not expressing any of her thoughts toward his plan. Long Chen couldn't help finding it funny. Bidang Rushuang definitely wasn't a match for Nangong Zuiyu intellectually. She couldn't even tell when he was joking. Would he really drag others down with him? After the waves caused by Shai Lingfang, things returned to calm. Experts walked in one by one. When they looked around, they nodded to the people they knew before quietly finding their own seats. With Long Chen sitting in the back, he saw everyone as they walked in. Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuiyu introduced them to him. These people were all heroes of their generation. In fact, even Long Chen had heard some legends about them. The majority of them were very cold, merely looking around indifferently before sitting down. Do all experts have to act like they're supreme and indifferent to everyone else? Asked Long Chen. Nangong Zuiyu said, Actually, that's not the case. It's just that being unrivaled is very lonely. After reaching the peak, you can't find another target. That loneliness shaped their characters. No one else was able to stand alongside them, and no one was capable of even following them. They didn't have a single qualified opponent. That is its own kind of pain. But you're not like that, right? You don't have that narcissistic loner feeling, said Long Chen. Me? What I pursue is different from them. I've always been looking, but I've never found what I'm searching for. I'm still working hard at it, but they have already reached the peak. And what about yourself? Your character isn't like theirs either, said Nangong Zuiyu, laughing when she mentioned Long Chen's character. She had never imagined that such an expert existed in this world. Me? You all dominated your era, and no one was able to fight back in the end. But I'm not able to dominate any era, at any time. I might be surrounded and beaten like a wild dog. Just look at me now. It's only been a few days, but all kinds of trouble are plaguing me, sighed Long Chen. On his way, he had run into those idiots of the mechanism sect he had been schemed against, almost losing his life. He had already made himself a powerful enemy even before arriving at the Dongfang family. His fortune took a rare turn for the better allowing him to obtain the moon and star refining furnace along with the nine lotus soul condensing pill. But then, that good fortune resulted in another powerful enemy wanting to buy it from him. Huang Fian had used the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race to threaten him. Did she think he would submit? So a second enemy had been made. Then this stone idiot had come out of nowhere as well, directly targeting him. Long Chen asked himself just what he had done to get surrounded by enemies. Even before he killed the last batch, new ones already came. Everyone, the time has arrived. The second day's auction is about to start. At this moment, a white-robed, middle-aged man walked in. Chapter 2083 Heavenly Spirit Water The auction was finally starting. It seemed it was starting a bit ahead of schedule. Perhaps it was because the atmosphere was too tense. The middle-aged man that had walked in was someone that Long Chen recognized. It was the same person who had appraised his pill. He was now wearing his formal clothes and standing on the stage. Everyone present is an amazing heavenly genius with great experience. I'm sure your time is precious. So I'll get right to it. The starting item is an ancient scripture. Everyone, please take a look. Two beautiful attendants walked in, carrying a plate-sized tortoise shell. A dense mass of characters was written on the shell. Through the projections of the walls, it was possible to see that they were immortal characters. Many people present were capable of translating it, but Long Chen was not one of them. Through our study and appraisal, this tortoise shell is a translation of part of an immortal scripture. It was translated from immemorial immortal characters. The regretful thing is that part of the shell is damaged, and even if that was fixed, 
it is still just a part of the immortal scripture. Thus, as a research tool, it is very valuable, but its practical value is low. If anyone is interested, you can buy it and research it yourself. Of course, if someone has had the good fortune of gathering the other parts of the scripture, that would be a different matter. The age and name of the scripture is unknown. The starting bid is 10 underworld spirit beads, and each increasing bid must be 5 underworld spirit beads greater, announced the middle-aged man. This was not an auction for profit, so there weren't too many exaggerations or ploys. The advantages and disadvantages were laid bare for everyone to see. 15 underworld spirit beads. Nangong Zuaya was the first bidder. The middle-aged man sighed with relief ever so slightly. In truth, this was a very difficult auction to be hosting. The people present were all extraordinary figures of great experience. They had seen countless treasures. If no one was interested in their very first item, they would be even more indifferent to the rest of the wares. If no one bid the entire time, that would be awkward. 20 Underworld Spirit Beads Apologies, Fairy Zuayu. I also want to research this tortoise shell, said a man sitting in a corner. It's not an issue. Auctions are fair, as is competition. The one with the higher bid wins. As long as the bid remains within my limit, I will just keep increasing mine, said Nangong Zuayu calmly. 25 Underworld Spirit Beads The man in the corner shouted out 30 Underworld Spirit Beads after a moment's hesitation. Nangong Zuayu immediately added another 5, and in the end, her competitor shook his head. Going to 40 would be above what he thought the shell was worth. However, at least he didn't make up some lie about being a gentleman and letting her have it. He chose to be silent. Congratulations on obtaining this treasure. Very quickly, the attendants brought the treasure over to Nangong Zuayu. Long Chen looked closely at the tortoise shell, and his lips curled. 35 underworld spirit beads for this tortoise shell? It really doesn't look worth it. You can't even make a stew with this. There were three damaged spots on the edges of the shell. One of those spots was where the scripture was, and that was also the most important spot. With that part damaged, this shell was essentially trash. Nangong Zuayu simply smiled. You can't put it this way. Every scripture has its own history and is its own representation of the Tao. I like to research these things. The ancient's wisdom isn't something that we can imagine. Although this scripture is incomplete, just comprehending the slightest bit of its essence would be enough to benefit me. The 35 underworld spirit beads were worth it. You like research so much? You make me think of someone very erudite that I know. If the two of you were to meet, I'm sure you would be friends. Long Chen suddenly thought of Yu Ziaokian. Yu Ziaokian's learning was frighteningly deep. It was like there was nothing in this world that she didn't know. However, there were also some things that she refused to discuss in detail. Who is that? I hope you can introduce me to them, said Nangong Zuayu. For a person to be praised by Long Chen like this, they had to be extraordinary. Ah, it will be up to fate. If there's a chance, I'll introduce the two of you, said Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian's status was special, and she couldn't show herself yet. She was focused on advancing with the profound spirit Tao scripture the immortal scripture she had obtained in the yin-yang world. As long as she fully comprehended it, she would be able to conceal herself perfectly. No one would be able to tell that she came from the original devil race. Then she could walk freely throughout the continent. I bid 20 underworld spirit beads. A raspy voice drew Long Chen's attention as he was talking with Nangong Zuayu. The second auction item had gone out. It was a fist-sized stone egg covered in cracks. Due to their chatting, they hadn't heard the introduction, so they didn't know what kind of treasure it was. The one bidding was Shai Ling Fang. That object had to be useful to him. 30 Underworld Spirit Beads. Someone also bid, causing Shai Ling Feng to immediately stand up and glare at the bidder. He was irritated. Are you trying to go against me? Demanded Shai Ling Feng. The competing bidder looked at Shai Ling Feng and indifferently said, No one's interested in you. This place isn't the stone race nor is it your era. You should reserve your temper, or it won't be as simple as hiding from a beating. Even your ancestor, the stone emperor Shai Changsheng, was not qualified to be so arrogant. It was only because the corrupt emperor was a follower of a god that the stone emperor took his place amongst the three emperors. 
If it weren't for the corrupt emperor refusing to be called emperor, there's no way your stone emperor would have climbed into their midst. The so-called stone emperor is just a name your stone race made for yourselves. The Martial Heaven continent has never acknowledged him. So what qualifications do you have to be arrogant upon hearing this? Long Chen suddenly recalled that there was no stone emperor amongst the so-called three emperors. The three emperors were the Peng Emperor, the Corrupt Emperor, and the Blood Emperor. Long Chen hadn't heard this story about the Corrupt Emperor though. What does he mean by the Corrupt Emperor refused to be called Emperor asked Long Chen. Bidang Rushuang shook her head. The Corrupt Emperor was a follower of the Corrupt God. Claiming himself Emperor would be disrespectful to his God. As for why it's disrespectful, no one really knows. This person is Luo Kanghu and is said to be a strange genius. He awakened his manifestation at the age of 14. At that time, his cultivation base hadn't even reached the Xi'anshan realm. His cultivation path is completely different from other people's, said Nangong Zuayu. Luo Kang whose outer appearance was ordinary. His eyes were calm but also contained an ancient air to them that was a bit odd. His words were said calmly without any anger, but they were a naked slap in the face of Shai Lingfang. Furthermore, it was a very resounding slap. Luo Kanghu, do you dare to fight me? Shai Lingfeng's face was originally ugly, but now it got even uglier. Luo Kanghu indifferently said, I'm not interested the middle-aged man hastily said. Luo Kanghu has bid 30 underworld spirit beads. If there are no higher bids, this treasure will go to Mr. Luo Kanghu. 50 underworld spirit beads, snorted Shai Lingfeng. Luo Kanghu didn't bid again. It was unknown if he felt that this thing wasn't worth that much or he just didn't feel like competing with Shai Lingfang. More treasures followed, none that were particularly outstanding. However, eventually a treasure appeared that made Long Chen's eyes light up. The middle-aged man was holding a transparent bottle. There was a drop of strange liquid inside that was roaming around like a tadpole. This is heavenly spirit water. It is not a treasure from this world and is similar to meteorites that come from outside our world. This is a magical matter from the cosmos that contains pure life energy. Whether it's for cultivation, comprehension, or forging, it can be immensely beneficial. I'm sure many people recognize this treasure, so I won't over-explain or waste everyone's time. One drop of heavenly spirit water, starting bit of 50 underworld spirit beads, announced the middle-aged man. This was the final treasure, and after it was sold, he would have accomplished his mission without any major mishaps. Sixty underworld spirit beads, shouted Bidang Rushuang. However, she was bidding for Long Chen. Long Chen saw Zhao Wuji, Huang Fian, and even Shai Lingfeng's figures amongst the crowd. If he did it himself, whatever he bid on would be targeted by others. Sixty-five underworld spirit beads, seventy, one hundred. Bidang Rushuang instantly raised the price to a hundred underworld spirit beads. This was an indication that she would fight for it to the end. As expected, after this high bid, the others bidding on it frowned. Although this heavenly spirit water was rare, it was just a single drop. One hundred underworld spirit beads for it was a bit much. Adding on Bidang Rushuang's attitude, they didn't have an urge to keep fighting for it. It wasn't a must-have for them. As a result, this drop of heavenly spirit water really did go for 100 underworld spirit beads. The auction ended, and everyone began to leave. Long Chen asked Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu to wait a bit. They only left once everyone else was gone. Long Chen, how are you going to thank me? Bidang Rushuang waved the bottle of heavenly spirit water at Long Chen, smiling naughtily. Chapter 2084 Flower Da Resonation Pill Ah, I'm sorry, you're too late. Again, we simply cannot be together that way, said Long Chen helplessly. Shut up. If you keep talking nonsense like that, I'll really beat you. Bidang Rushuang raised a fist. Long Chen laughed and accepted the heavenly spirit water. Looking at it, he was a bit emotional. This heavenly spirit water didn't have any use on him, but it would be very effective at healing the wounds of the moon and star refining furnace. Let's go. I'll treat you to fish, said Long Chen fish again. If you don't want fish, I can treat you to dirt, bastard. The three didn't go eat fish and found a secluded place to drink tea instead. Bidang Rushuang's hostility toward Nangong Zuayu had clearly lessened. 
to the point where at the very least, the two could talk normally to each other. Long Chen, I won't lie to you. I had a goal in getting close to you ah. Uh, but don't even mention anything about romance again. Warned Bidang Rushuang. Perhaps Bidang Rushuang had never met someone as shameless as Long Chen. She had no way to deal with him. To make a long story short, I want to hear everything about Sovereign Yun Shang. Last time, our conversation on that topic was cut short. This time, if it's not too much, I hope you can go into greater detail, said Bidang Rushuang. It's true. Everything about the sovereigns is shrouded in mystery. Everyone is curious about them. Even I want to know, added Nangong Zuayu. You want to know everything I know about Sovereign Yun Shang? Why didn't you say so sooner? There's nothing for me to hide. Long Chen directly told them about the battlefield in the spirit world where he had obtained Evil Moon. He told them about how Sovereign Yun Shang had sealed Evil Moon and given it to him. That black blade of yours was a gift that Sovereign Yun Shang left for you? Then doesn't that mean you will be the future Sovereign exclaimed Bidang Rushuang. Yes, I also think so. I shall be the next Sovereign, the one to summon rains and wind, to soar through the heavens, to dominate the continent, to be surrounded by beauties. Long Chen nodded. Ah, now that you say this, I feel like you probably aren't fit to be a sovereign Bidang Rushuang shock and amazement instantly transformed into disdain. Long Chen, a sovereign? She refused to believe it. They weren't alike at all. Long Chen didn't have any of the mannerisms of the sovereigns. Furthermore, what sovereign had such a scoundrel mouth? If I start talking properly now, will it be in time to become a sovereign? Asked Long Chen nervously. A chuckle escaped Bidang Rushuang. Stop making me laugh. If I laugh, I'll get wrinkles. Long Chen's nervous expression was just too odd. Nangong Zuayu shook her head. Sovereign Yun Shang was the first generation sovereign. He was able to see through space time, into the future. For him to leave Evil Moon to you must have some deeper meaning. However, the fact that he left two things, but one was taken by Len Yuian doesn't make sense. Long Chen didn't say much regarding Len Yuian. As for the corrupt path, Ever since she had escaped her execution, they had not mentioned her ever again. It was like she was a taboo. Len Yuian seemed to have vanished from the continent. No one knew what she was up to. Long Chen, you're very close to Len Yuian. Correct asked Bidang Rushuang. Ah, how do I put this? I suppose we are very close. Long Chen suddenly thought of how Len Yuian had taken his first time. He suddenly missed her. He didn't know how she was right now. How was her fight with her true body? Long Chen, thank you. Through your soul, we saw the sovereign. We can now die with no regrets, said Nangong Zuayu extremely grateful. Just now, Long Chen had opened his soul to them, allowing them to see sovereign Yun Shang from his memories. That was an opportunity that they had never expected. Having been allowed to see the true appearance of a sovereign, they confirmed that the sovereigns were truly transcendent figures just like the legend said. The charisma that sovereign Yun Shang had possessed was even greater than the legends. Every word he said, every move he made contained the ability to make them devote their lives to him. In this world, there was a certain style, a certain heroism, a certain conviction, and when all of them were together, they were bestowed the title of sovereign. After thanking Long Chen, Nangong Zuayu left. She said that having borne witness to a sovereign, she had to focus her thoughts. She might be near a breakthrough. Bidang Rushuang also said the same thing. Watching them leave, Long Chen was a bit dumbfounded. Could seeing a sovereign really cause a comprehension breakthrough? How come he hadn't felt anything then? He hadn't had any comprehension advancements even after flipping the sovereign's chessboard. Was he an idiot? Since the two of them had gone. Long Chen asked for another alchemy room for himself. However, he wasn't refining pills but medicinal powder. He then slowly merged the medicinal powder with the drop of heavenly spirit water. The heavenly spirit water was originally transparent, but with the addition of the powders, it turned milky white. Then countless granules began to appear in it, clashing with each other. Long Chen dripped this concoction into the moon and star refining furnace. The drop instantly dissolved and was absorbed by the furnace. It really is magical. It can't be treated with common sense. The heavenly spirit water was instantly absorbed. The furnace shook slightly. 
and an air of life whirled around it for a moment before it once more fell into slumber. It's too bad there was so little of the heavenly spirit water. If I had a dozen drops, it might have been enough to wake up the furnace. But this isn't bad. At the very least, it has drastically shortened the time it will take for the furnace to wake up. The money was well spent. Long Chen smiled, sensing the slight air of life within the furnace with a gratified smile. The third day's auction would actually be taking place three days from now. Then the auctions would come to an end, and the true point of this gathering would begin. It could be said that Long Chen had come early. He hadn't really been paying attention, and so he had taken this registration time as the time that the gathering actually started. Currently, many experts were still slowly trickling over. Long Chen found it curious that Ji Lingxin hadn't come yet. She should have come right at the start. However, perhaps she was busy solidifying her awakened manifestation, doing her best to increase her power so she could stand tall amongst these monsters wasn't a bad idea. Yi Lingxin wasn't present, and neither was the pill fairy. Many other experts also hadn't come. He didn't know if they weren't coming or if they were waiting for the real start. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's refine a few 11th tier pills first. Taking advantage of his leisure time. He started refining more pills. According to reason, he should be refining the sixth star's pill, the Nethergate pill. However, he lacked one of its main ingredients, the heavenly nether vermilion fruit. He had asked Zheng Wenlong to help him look for it, but Zheng Wenlong had never even heard of it. For even Zheng Wenlong to not know of it, it probably didn't exist on the martial heaven continent. With these ancient powers coming out, Long Chen could only hope that one of them would have it. However, right now he couldn't openly ask for it. He could only wait and see. The majority of the ingredients I have are just secondary ingredients. Other than the thousand hand soul condensing pill, the only thing I can refine is the hundred flower daresination pill. Long Chen found another pill he could refine amongst the countless pill formulas in his head. Eleventh tier pills required far too many ingredients. Some required over a thousand. Furthermore, Long Chen only had some of the plant ingredients. Other ingredients included spirit beast essence blood, crystal cores, precious ores, and other mystical objects. Before he obtained the formulas, he hadn't thought about gathering those things. Once he had, he found that it was useless to know, because he didn't have the ability to gather them. Long Chen had already given a list to Zheng Wenlong of things to help him gather, but odds were that he would have to find ways to gather them himself. The hundred flower daresination pill was one of three eleventh tier pills that used the least ingredients. It only required a hundred pistols from different precious medicines. It just so happened that Long Chen had them all. With his experience refining the thousand hand soul condensing pill, things went much smoother. Long Chen also found that the moon and star refining furnace was helping him more. He was refining the ingredients into powders much faster and the quality had clearly improved slightly. Excellent. The heavenly spirit water is truly a magical existence. It's already having a slight effect. The moon and star refining furnace had clearly recovered slightly from the heavenly spirit water's nourishment. Although it couldn't consciously help him, some of its natural abilities were restored. After refining the powders, Long Chen started refining the pill. However, this time, he wasn't going all out like last time. He held back slightly, prepared for any accidents. The first furnace of pills was quickly finished. There were nine pills, three of them high grade and the rest middle grade. Long Chen nodded. This result surpassed his expectations. If he wanted to refine a top grade 11th tier pill, then with his current ability, he could refine only one pill at a time. However, if he wasn't going for a top grade pill, he could refine nine pills at once with less risk. Long Chen consumed one of the pills. He felt his blood quicken and then rumbling rang out. Flowers began to bloom within his essence blood. Flowers also appeared on the exterior of his body. The hundred flowers lingered, and Darun's appeared on their petals. Long Chen suddenly let out a pleasantly surprised cry. So that's the case. Chapter 2085 Progression of the World Annihilation Flame Lotus The hundred flowers bloomed and resonated with the Tao forming one ring which enveloped Long Chen. Intense fluctuations caused the surrounding space to shake. Long Chen let out an excited cry. 
Although he couldn't sense heavenly Tao energy, a scene appeared in his mind. This hundred flower Da resonation pill was supposed to be useless to Long Chen. Unlike others he couldn't get closer to the heavenly Daos, so he had only eaten one pill to test its efficiency. However, when those flower marks appeared around his body, it was like a bolt of lightning had pierced his mind. Things that he hadn't understood instantly became clear to him. Long Chen had been continuously thinking about how to evolve the world annihilation flame lotus. He had tested many things, all of which ended in failure. Right now, he was only able to condense nine star falls on top of the nine petals of the world annihilation flame lotus. What he wanted was to add even more star falls, but he was unable to figure out how he could do that. No matter what he tried, it instantly threw the lotus into disorder, causing it to explode. With the aid of the hundred flower da resonation pill, Long Chen realized that he had been stuck on a dead path. He had been wanting to condense an energy source at the stamen of the lotus, which was the core of this technique. However, no matter what he did, he was unable to control it. I've always been going inside to out. How stupid. Why didn't I try going outside to in? Long Chen looked at the flower marks covering his body. These flowers were absorbing heavenly Tao energy into his body. Although it would quickly fade upon entering his body, it still gave Long Chen a chance for enlightenment. A flame lotus condensed in Long Chen's hand. It was the world annihilation flame lotus. Long Chen was almost able to condense it instantly. There were nine petals, with a small sphere above each one. Those were the star fall spheres. Powerful flame energy flowed within them making every one of them like a flaming star. Condense another star fall condensed on top of each of the nine petals. Boom. Those new star falls instantly exploded, and Long Chen's hand was blown to pulp. Long Chen's expression didn't even twitch. To evolve the world annihilation flame lotus, he didn't even know how many times he had been injured. He had long since gotten used to it. This way is wrong. Again. Long Chen once more condensed the world annihilation flame lotus. This time, he didn't blindly test anything. Instead, he focused on sensing the interior. The energy lines were just like the meridians inside a person. They had powerful energy flowing within them. Since this pill was able to gather energy from a hundred different sources, my world annihilation flame lotus must be able to do it too. I just haven't found the correct path yet. Long Chen grew increasingly confident. There were many similarities between his flame lotus and the energy of the hundred flower da resonation pill. By contrasting and comparing them, he quickly thought of possibilities that made his eyes shine. The golden flame lotus in his hand grew brighter and brighter. Long Chen was using the heaven incinerating flame's power to experiment because a failure with it would only blow up his hand. He wouldn't dare to use the black illusion dragon flame let alone the inverse Tao water spirit flame as that would be suicide. As the golden lotus revolved, runes began to appear in the star falls on top of the petals. The flame energy within the first star fall began to give birth to an additional sphere of light. That sphere gradually grew larger, until it fell away from the original star fall. Long Chen's expression was serious. He stared closely at the new star fall, using the principles behind the hundred flower da resonation pill. He had the first star fall act as a mother giving birth to a new star fall. Although all of Long Chen's previous tests had ended in complete failure when he had tried to do this, he wasn't dejected. The new star fall had just been born when the flame lotus suddenly became imbalanced. The lotus twisted and expanded violently before exploding. Rather than being depressed or angry, Long Chen grew excited. He once more summoned the flame lotus. The nine star falls on top of the petals lit up at the same time as they began to give rise to new star falls. Nine new spheres fell from the original star falls. In a breath's time, they grew to the same size as the original star falls. Success. Long Chen couldn't help letting out an emotional shout. He looked at the world annihilation flame lotus with its 18 star falls. This signified that its power had doubled from before. However, when he tried condensing the third set of star falls, the lotus exploded. This time, Long Chen was prepared, and he summoned the Azure Dragon Scales to protect his hand. Despite that, his blood freely poured out after the explosion. What is going on? Long Chen was dumbfounded. 
He had tried to condense an extra set of star falls from the original set, but when this third set appeared, it once more ended in failure. Can each star fall only give rise to one more star fall? Wondered Long Chen. He tested it again. This time, he tried to condense the third set from the second set of star falls. However, it failed once more. Long Chen refused to give up. After calming down for a while, he continued. This time, after condensing the second set of star falls, he activated the first and second set together. The two spheres on each petal actually merged back into one and then slowly began to split back into two. Their appearance was different now. Their energies were pulling at each other even as they separated. A third sphere was slowly born between them, separating the two spheres. At this moment, Long Chen found that he didn't have to control them any longer. They began to activate on their own. The third sphere vanished, transforming into an arc that devoured the first and second spheres. A Taiji diagram appeared. A fourth sphere appeared. A fifth sphere appeared. A sixth sphere. The Tao gave birth to one. One gave birth to two. Two gave birth to three. Three gave birth to all things. A flash of comprehension struck Long Chen. He had accidentally run into the middle of this principle. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. Just as he was amazed by this principle, the flame lotus had grown larger and larger, with more and more star falls appearing on top of it. It was sucking away his spiritual strength and flame energy. When the seventh set of star falls appeared, Long Chen's soul panged painfully. Even Huo Long was getting uneasy because the flame lotus was sucking away too much of its energy. The terrifying power of the world annihilation flame lotus caused spatial cracks to form in the air. Long Chen began to dispel his energy hastily, and the star falls on top of it began to vanish one by one. Six, five, four, all the way to three. Then the Taiji diagram that the first three star falls had taken the shape of also vanished. That terrifying power receded. That was close. Long Chen sighed with relief. If he had allowed the world annihilation flame lotus to keep absorbing his energy, it would have gone out of his control. When it exploded, it might have taken his life. Ha ha ha, I finally created my own ultimate move. Long Chen raised his head and laughed. The world annihilation flame lotus had once more progressed. It might become his most terrifying trump card. A grand heroic feeling filled Long Chen. With just seven sets of star falls and the heaven incinerating flame. It was already so powerful. Then what about with the Black Illusion Dragon Flame? Or the Inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame? After a moment of delight, Long Chen also thought of a problem. The bigger the move, the more control it required. The Heaven Incinerating Flame was his weakest usable flame. If he tried to use the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, he might just incinerate himself. He, well, it's still another trump card. I'm growing more and more confident for the rest of this gathering, chortled Long Chen. Long Chen continued to test the world annihilation flame lotus for the rest of his time. He found that every additional set of star falls would increase its power immensely. It was not so simple as 1 plus 1 equals 2. The new star falls took on a strange formation, one that even Long Chen found too profound to fully understand. He would need to take things slowly. However, one thing was sure. The world annihilation flame lotus would become an extremely terrifying killing move in his hands. The few days passed quickly, and the runes on the walls began to blink when the time was up. The third auction is starting. Everyone coming has probably arrived by now. Chapter 2086 Tian Zizi Long Chen came out of the alchemy room, still immersed in his pride and excitement from evolving the world annihilation flame lotus. What? Did you find some money? Coincidentally. Bidang Rushuang came out of another private room at the same time. Seeing his bright smile, she couldn't help being speechless. Just how did someone who didn't know how to conceal his emotions become an expert? He, it's even better than money. I've developed my own supreme move. If anyone tries to mess with me again, I'll beat them until even their grandmas won't recognize them. Long Chen chortled, pleased with himself. The advancement of the world annihilation flame lotus marked a new milestone on his cultivation path. Throughout history, only the most astonishing and amazing of experts had managed to create their own powerful techniques. Their names were recorded within history. That was an honor only a few could receive. 
Long Chen was extremely confident in the World Annihilation Flame Lotus. Although it was still incomplete, he was sure that he would be able to bring it to the level where it could shake the world. Keep bragging. If I ever believe you again, I'll admit defeat. Bidang Rushuang rolled her eyes. Who knew whether this fellow ever said one word of truth amongst his bragging. The two of them walked together into the auction room, and they could see a few people who had arrived before them. The room had been rearranged with new seats, but after his last experience, Long Chen immediately asked for a seat near the back this time. Brother Long, long time no see. One scholarly man immediately stood up upon seeing Long Chen and waved. Hu Fang, haha, you've come as well. Long Chen was a bit surprised. He finally saw a familiar face. You are the heir of the gambling heavenly Dao Bidang Rushuang was startled. The heirs of the gambling heavenly Dao had all been famous throughout history. Their origins were mysterious, but they were incredibly powerful. This little one is the 27th generation heir, Hu Fang. Greetings, Fairy Rushuang. Hu Fang bowed slightly to Bidang Rushuang, speaking humbly. Bidang Rushuang returned the etiquette, curiously asking, You two are friends. I've known Brother Long for a long time. It can be said that he's my idol. Hu Feng smiled. Bidang Rushuang looked at Long Chen strangely. It seems you must have some good points for you to have friends. Long Chen's expression twitched, but he didn't reply. How could he not have any friends? Was everyone in this world his enemy? Hu Feng merely smiled and returned to his seat. Long Chen saw many new faces, but now wasn't the time to ask Bidang Rushuang about them. He walked over to his seat and found that Nangong Zuayu had been waiting for them. It's been three days, but Fairy Zuayu's beauty has only grown with time, said Long Chen. Nangong Zuayu really didn't know how to reply to Long Chen. His praise lacked any sincerity due to how exaggerated he made it, but it was intentional. After three days, Mr. Long Chen seems happier than ever. You must have made great gains, you noticed exclaimed Long Chen. With how obvious you are, even a blind person would have seen it, snorted Bidang Rushuang as she sat down. Nangong Zuayu smiled. This is your special trait. A clear heart without any inhibitions can be taken as a kind of realm. HMPH. For someone to bring shamelessness to such a level, this realm will never be surpassed, said Bidang Rushuang as she picked up a grape. Long Chen laughed and sat down as well. He quietly watched more people walk in. The Dongfang family is truly powerful. They were able to pull in so many experts. Their influence is amazing. Nangong Zuayu sighed. Long Chen wanted to ask which of the four everlasting families was strongest, but this definitely wasn't the right place to ask it. Long Chen, a happily surprised cry rang out. Long Chen turned to see Yi Lingxian. Long Chen immediately stood up and introduced her to Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu. Yi Lingxian almost couldn't believe her eyes. She had long since made a list of the heroes of the ancient era, noting their special characters. Seeing Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang sitting together very amicably together with Long Chen, she was stunned. The Martial Heaven Alliance's Yi Lingxian greets Fairy Zuayu and Fairy Rushuang. Yi Lingxian hastily bowed. She had seen many of the monsters of the ancient era on her way here. All of them were powerful enough to make her heart shake. She felt like she had been at the bottom of a well before. Fortunately, her master had been wise enough to make her solidify her foundation after awakening her manifestation. Her aura was strong and condensed. If she hadn't awakened her manifestation before coming here, she would have been a laughingstock. Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang returned Yi Lingxian's bow. Yi Lingxian clearly looked up to the two of them and spoke with honorifics toward them. Nangong Zuayu comforted her and told her that there was no need to be so courteous. They could just call each other sisters. The feeling of distance between them was quickly shortened. You only got here today, asked Long Chen. I arrived yesterday. Dongfang Yuayang led me around the city for the first day. To tell the truth, the foundation of the everlasting families is quite frightening. Yi Lingxian couldn't help sighing. Her eyes had been opened to the world. She had seen things that she hadn't even heard of before. Compared to the everlasting families, the Martial Heaven Alliance was poor. He strolled around with you for a day? Is he trying to seduce you? Questioned Long Chen. Nonsense. Dongfang Yuayang isn't like that. Your way of thinking is just too dirty. 
rebuked Ji Lingxian. Long Chen asked her about the current state of the Martial Heaven Alliance and was told that everything was going well. The entire world was keeping track of the goings-on of this gathering, and things were peaceful outside. Tian Zizi has come. Suddenly, Yi Lingxian pointed toward a newcomer by the door. It was a tall and slender man with a scholar's band on his head. He held a white paper fan in his hand. It was clearly a scholarly decoration, but the fan had images of mountains of corpses and seas of blood on it. The evil air around him was apparent. There were also some flickering blood runes within his eyes. When they opened and closed, a devilish light glinted, making people shiver. Zetianza is the corrupt emperor's descendant. The corrupt emperor was suppressed by the sovereign of his generation for a lifetime. It's said that Zetianza inherited the corrupt emperor's supreme techniques and can be considered as heir. He's extremely dangerous, warned Bidang Rushuang gravely. Long Chen looked at Zetianza, knowing that they were fated to be enemies. They were on opposite sides, and one of them would have to die. Zetianza's gaze swept through the room. He immediately saw Long Chen and Yi Lingxian. A devilish smile appeared on his face. He didn't speak, instead swiping his white fan across his neck in a throat-cutting gesture. Long Chen replied with a smile and a raised fist with the middle finger sticking up. The blood runes in Zixianzi's eyes began to spin. It was like being stared at by death. Don't look right at him. His eyes possess a divine ability to steal people's souls, warned Nangong Zuayu. Just at that moment. Yi Lingxian felt the space around her begin to twist. It was like the world was spinning, and she felt like she might puke. After hearing Nangong Zuayu's warning, she hastily focused herself on blocking. With just a glance, Zetianza had caused such a reaction. Furthermore, his main target was Long Chen, not Yi Lingxian, but she was still affected. Long Chen looked right back at Zetianza. This was a spiritual clash, as well as a clash of wills. The space between the two of them wildly twisted. The blood runes filled Zixianzi's eyes and transformed into one strange image after another. There were wild beasts roaring, sinister ghosts wailing, and despite there clearly being no sound, it felt like they could hear the wailing in their souls. One star after another appeared in Long Chen's. In the end, five stars shone brightly. That was the mark of the five star battle armor. However, this time Long Chen hadn't summoned it outside. It was purely a mental clash. This kind of clash was no less dangerous than a battle with blades. Whoever lost would receive a grievous blow to their Dao heart. If they fought for real, the odds of losing would be many times greater. The entire room was tense as the other experts simply watched. No one said anything or attempted to stop them. Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang looked at Long Chen. An invisible wind made his robes flutter. He appeared calm with his hands clasped behind his back, and his expression was icy. That imposing figure he cut made him seem like a completely different person. The two ladies were both supreme experts and saw that Long Chen was on the defensive. However, he was like a steady boulder. His grand spiritual strength shocked them, but then they recalled that he was an alchemist. Move aside. Tian Zizi's smile grew as they continued staring at each other. He was about to make another move when an icy voice rang out, one that felt like it was about to freeze people's souls. Chapter 2087 Surrounded by beautiful flowers a woman slowly walked into the room. Her face was like a painting. Her robes were snow white, while her black hair fell naturally past her shoulders, creating a stark contrast. She was like a transcendent immortal walking amongst the mortal world, but this beautiful fairy was too cold so cold that her face was like 10,000-year-old ice that would never melt. Ice crystals revolved around her. Her eyes were like gems, but they contained endless iciness. One look from her felt like it could freeze a person's soul. This person was the ice fairy Yi's Hikyu. Her icy glare made Zixianzi's heart shiver. He slowly retracted his mental energy. You're in my way, said Yi's Hikyu coldly. Yi's Hikyu's arrival delighted Long Chen. So she had also been invited. Zetianza smiled slightly and didn't continue. He walked to his seat. Yi's Hikyu gracefully walked over to Long Chen. But Long Chen had already gone over to welcome her. You've finally come out of seclusion. Long Chen held Yi's Hikyu's hand. Emotional. Her return signified that she would no longer have to go back to the Divine Ice Palace. She would be together with them once more. 
A trace of warmth appeared in Yi's Hikyu's icy eyes. She nodded, tightening her grip on Long Chen's hand. A faint rosiness appeared on her cheeks. Here, let me introduce you. Long Chen hastily introduced Nang Gong Zuyu and Bidang Rushuang to Yi's Hikyu. Yi's Hikyu nodded. She was born icy, and as she cultivated, that icy nature only grew. She rarely ever spoke to others. Yi Lingxin was an old acquaintance who knew that Yi Hikyu's character was just like this. As for Nang Gong Zuyu and Bidang Rushuang, they could understand this iciness. Most ice cultivators were just like this. Long Chen had the attendant add another seat. He and Yi Hikyu sat together, holding hands. Even in front of Nang Gong Zuyu and Bidang Rushuang, they were not acting bashful. Yi Hikyu blushed slightly, but she didn't pull her hand back. With Yi Hikyu present, Long Chen acted much less like a scoundrel. Bidang Rushuang was startled, not knowing how she felt about that. With Yi Hikyu's newfound control over her ice energy, it was no longer a struggle just to hold her hand. Last time, Long Chen had almost been frozen. Now, although he still felt a bone chilling cold, it was endurable. He didn't need to circulate his power to block it. Long Chen had a stomach full of questions he wanted to ask Yi's Hikyu, but now wasn't the time. Long Chen particularly cherished Yi's Hikyu because back in the Jiuli secret realm, she had died in his arms. That scene was something he would never be able to forget in this lifetime. Yi's Hikyu's addition to their seats drew quite a bit of attention. Most people were sitting by themselves. Only Long Chen's side was filled with beautiful flowers who were also peerless geniuses. People were naturally envious. When Zhao Wuji walked in and saw Long Chen holding Yi Hikyu's hand, quietly whispering to her, while Nang Gong Zuyu, Bidang Rushuang, and Yi Lingxian talked and laughed amongst themselves, flames of rage filled Zhao Wuji's heart. This was too exaggerated. Just how was it that Long Chen was surrounded by so many beautiful women? when every other person present was someone who had dominated their generation, during their lives, wherever they went, others would follow, they were the brightest stars in the sky, however, at this gathering of past and present heroes, they found themselves ordinary, as these top geniuses gathered, they were all lonely figures, maintaining an air of mystery and arrogance around them, but Long Chen actually pulled in a group of the greatest geniuses throughout history, Two of those were even from the everlasting families. The geniuses had egos corresponding to how strong they were. The men who could be invited here were the main characters of their times. Today, they found themselves being reduced to supporting characters. Enjoy your final days. Once you die, there will naturally be someone to look after your women, muttered Zhao Wuji. Although he spoke as if muttering to himself, his voice was not quiet. It was loud enough for the entire auction room to hear. Everyone turned to look at Long Chen. This was a provocation, and an extremely humiliating one at that. Long Chen's figure had already vanished from his original spot by the time they looked. He reappeared in front of Zhao Wuji and immediately kicked him. Everyone jumped because of this sudden attack. Zhao Wuji was also started, not expecting Long Chen to really dare to attack him here. Boom. Zhao Wuji was sent flying by Long Chen's kick. He had been unable to properly use any force in his seat. Although Zhao Wuji's scale armor had appeared on his arms, blocking Long Chen's kick, it was unable to stop Long Chen's power from blowing him away. He crashed through one sturdy wall after another, breaking buildings and even some fake mountains. Long Chen came flying through the hole he made, sending a powerful punch at Zhao Wuji's face, courting death. Zhao Wuji roared furiously. He had been caught off guard before. Now his armor transformed, becoming covered in sinister blood-colored barbs. Stop. Just at this moment, the space between Long Chen and Zhao Wuji twisted. They were originally on track to striking each other, but somehow their positions shifted subtly just enough for them to miss. Long Chen was startled. This was spatial power. It had resolved both their attacks without any fuss. This power was truly powerful. Brother Long, Brother Zhao, are you trying to tear down my Dongfang family's ancient city? Noveloon.com A white robe Dongfang Yuyang appeared, looking displeased. The other experts inside the room also came walking out, wanting to see how Dongfang Yuyang would resolve the current predicament. Long Chen had struck the first blow in the room. 
that was clearly disrespectful to the Dongfang family. It could even be called a kind of provocation. Long Chen goes too far. He attacked me first, roared Zhao Wuji. It was Zhao Wuji's wretched mouth that went too far, said Bidang Rushuang coldly. She was clearly standing on Long Chen's side. Just now, even Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu had been shocked. Long Chen had suddenly seemed to transform into a death god, becoming a demon who would slaughter devils and immortals. That fierce aura of his had made them jump. The normally joking scoundrel had become a completely different person just now. Zhao Wuji, if you're in a rush to reincarnate, I'll help you out today. There's no need for our fight to wait until after this gathering. We can start right now, said Long Chen, his gaze as sharp as a sword. Long Chen has truly become infuriated. His greatest taboo is for others to threaten him, especially those closest to him. This Zhao Wuji has touched his reverse scale. Transmitted Yi Lingxian to Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu. Yi Lingxian had a greater understanding of Long Chen. He could wave off other people's threats toward him with a laugh. But if someone insulted his family, he would instantly explode. The current Long Chen left a deep impression on Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang. Floating in the sky, his black robes and hair were whipping around him. He finally met the standards of how an expert should act. Nangong Zuayu's eyes began to sparkle and unleash a few imperceptible ripples. She gradually smiled. From Long Chen, she had comprehended a kind of Tao. A Tao of freedom, of being unrestricted, of transcending all bindings. A Tao that did not care what other people thought. Do you think I'm afraid of you? Pick any time and place. If I don't kill you, I won't be Zhao Wuji. Last time. Long Chen had slapped him in the face and used some pill toxin to turn his face black. Although he had managed to recover later, that enmity had not been forgotten. Zhao Wuji had never been humiliated in his life. The countless strange gazes of the experts in that room as he had been kicked out infuriated him the most. Zhao Wuji was not actually acknowledged as deserving the same level of respect as the other supreme geniuses present. He was able to match them due to his viciousness and despicable means, but he didn't have their high prestige. However, even those supreme geniuses didn't want to provoke him. It was mostly due to his infamous reputation for his fearsome means. To put it frankly, he had come to this gathering to shake the world and show everyone just how powerful he was, to make the name of the mechanism sect resound throughout the continent once more. However, ever since he had encountered Long Chen, he had faced setback after setback and lost his face. That was completely different from his expectations. He now wanted to have a fight against Long Chen not just for vengeance, but also to prove how strong he was. Then come, let's fight outside the city. Long Chen stepped away, but just at that moment, a figure blocked his path. Long Chen was stunned, and all the other experts' hearts involuntarily shook. Chapter 2088 Withdrawing? White robes that were untouched by the dust of the mortal world and enveloped by a water-like curtain of light set off an unmatched beauty. That light was not actually water, but fire. Although the high heat had been concealed, it was possible to sense intimidating energy fluctuations that could incinerate seas. The pill fairy Yu Kingsuan. Many people recognized her because she was extremely easy to recognize. There was a ring of divine light behind her that sprinkled her with a holy and noble air. She was a divine daughter, one who looked down on everyone else in the world. This was the power of a god within the halo of light behind her. It was an unblockable power that granted her the special status of divine daughter. She was a disciple of a god and had received the god's blessing and care. With the god's power backing her, she was qualified to look down on everyone else within the same realm. Even amongst this group of supreme geniuses, she was still an existence that everyone focused on. Her arrival caused countless experts' hearts to shake. The gods were transcendent existences, and although they could not descend upon the martial heaven continent, their disciples were always above everyone else due to their blessing. The pill fairy's arrival coincidentally came just as Long Chen was about to leave, and she was now blocking Long Chen's path. She looked at Long Chen without the slightest emotion in her eyes. Long Chen was also looking at the pill fairy, however, his eyes contained lament and regret. Do you want to say something? Asked the pill fairy. Long Chen sighed. There's nothing to say. If something has to be said, 
then tell me how that girl Wan Ching has been lately? She must have grown up quite a bit. Only when he brought up Wan Ching did the slightest warmth appear in the pill fairy's eyes. She seemed to have lost herself in some memory. Wan Ching is doing very well. She's growing even more beautiful. And I'm also preparing to transmit all my alchemy arts to her. If nothing unexpected happens, she will be the future valley master of Pill Valley. Long Chen shook his head slightly. She is a talented alchemist, but she's definitely not suited to wielding power. You are throwing her into a pit of fire. Although he hadn't known Wan Ching for that long, he knew her character. There was no way she could pick up the burden of being the valley master. That would only bring her pain. People can always change. She might not have been able to do such a thing before, but that doesn't mean that she won't be able to do it in the future. People need to work hard to change their own fate, or they will only be run over by others, said the pill fairy indifferently Novaloon.com looking at the pill fairy's face. Long Chen sighed. Changing one's fate is correct, but the initiative should be in the hands of the one whose fate is being changed. Otherwise, if it is only for someone else, all that hard work won't change their fate. People live only one life. Plants grow only for one spring. Their time is limited. If you can't be free, that time can only be a kind of grief. A slightly lost expression appeared in the pill fairy's eyes, but they quickly became icy once more. Even if free, people should understand their responsibility. Some things were faded from times long past. People should not be afraid of continuing that path forward, said the pill fairy. If it's long since faded, why bother cultivating? Cultivation is in itself to defy the heavens, to break through shackles, and to transcend bindings. If people's fates were set before being born, what is the point of risking our lives to cultivate? Long Chen shook his head. Long Chen and the pill fairy were both standing in the sky, facing each other. As for the other experts, most of them knew of the relationship between the two of them. However, now the two were enemies. When Long Chen had caused chaos in the Brahma secret realm, the pill fairy had tried to kill him. Countless people had witnessed that. The two of them speaking again made everyone forget about the matter of Long Chen kicking Zhao Wuji. Your so-called freedom also needs a limit. Past that limit, the only thing that exists is death. The gods are everywhere and the laws of the heavenly deos cannot be exceeded. You have repeatedly damaged my pill valley's prestige and even blasphemed the divine statue. The only thing that awaits you is death. That is the only way to wash away your sins, said the pill fairy chillingly. Naturally, the matter of blaspheming the divine statue referred to how Long Chen had carved bastard onto Lord Brahma's statue in the Brahma divine palace. That matter was unknown. And while these experts didn't know what exactly she was referring to, just the fact that Long Chen had dared to blaspheme Pill Valley's divine statue made these experts jump. Seeing the cold light in the Pill Fairy's eyes, Long Chen shook his head. You are no longer the old Pill Fairy. There's no need to say any more. Long Chen could no longer find the slightest familiar feeling within her eyes. Perhaps the High Priest was right. Once the Pill Fairy became the Divine Daughter, she would be one with the god's will. It could be said that she was just a personification of the god, or more accurately, a puppet that the god controlled. Long Chen, let's continue our fight. Today, I, Zhao Wuji, will kill you. Zhao Wuji finally had a chance to interject. Just at that moment, a zither twanged. That sound startled everyone and they hastily turned. What they saw was a woman walking gracefully over to them. Every step she took seemed to embody the music of some kind of grand Tao. Every smile, every frown, every single one of her movements contained some kind of Tao charm. Zi Yan, Long Chen sensed another feeling in his heart, one that he didn't know how to describe. He didn't know whether or not it was a good thing that she had come. Was she a friend or a foe? The Zither Fairy's arrival naturally interrupted Zhao Wuji's challenge. Zi Yan smiled at Long Chen. We meet once again. Have you been well? Long Chen was startled. It seemed that she didn't come bearing hostility. I have been well. Many thanks for your care. Along with the arrival of the Pill Fairy and the Zither Fairy, more and more experts were drawn over. This place became packed. Dong Fang Yuiang said, The new auction room has been prepared. I'd like to ask everyone to move over there, but I hope there are no more unexpected accidents this time. Other than that, 
Brother Zhao, Brother Long, this place is the Dongfang family, and we won't interfere in any personal enmities. However, I hope that the two of you can give my Dongfang family some face and leave your matters until after this gathering is concluded and you've left the Dongfang family. Can't you resolve things afterward? Dongfang Yuyang acted very modestly, but this time, Long Chen and Zhao Wuji had definitely gone too far. They had almost torn down the auction room. This was now a matter of face. After all, this gathering was being hosted by the Dongfang family. Everyone who had come was their guest. If others went too far, it would be taking advantage of them as a host and would be treated as a provocation. Zhao Wuji had been warned, and Shai Lingfeng had also been warned. As for Long Chen, Dongfang Yuyang viewed him as someone very important. So Dongfang Yuyang hadn't said any heavy words to him. However, Long Chen had fought inside the Dongfang family several times now. He was clearly trying to probe Dongfang Yuyang's bottom line, which was not giving him any face at all. At first, Dongfang Yuyang's treatment toward Long Chen had made people think that he was biased and that the two of them had to have some kind of secret relationship. However, with how often Long Chen was causing trouble, people now thought that the two of them definitely didn't get along. Otherwise, Long Chen would have at least resisted to act to give Dongfang Yuyang face. Sorry. I simply have this kind of temper. If someone has an issue with me, they can come at me but not insult my people. Otherwise, even if it was the king of the heavens, I wouldn't let them get away with it, said Long Chen. Since that's the case, I'll withdraw from this gathering. To tell the truth, this so-called gathering of past and present heroes has disappointed me. Everyone's expressions changed slightly. Long Chen's meaning was that of the people here. Only a few had entered his eyes. Since he hadn't given any names, no one was willing to reply. However, his words clearly contained a feeling like he was looking down on them. But if they said anything, it would be taking a general comment as a personal attack. Long Chen, what are you trying to do? If you want to leave, then leave. If you want to stay, then stay. Just being allowed to come is an honor to you. Why act like you're some big wig? Shai Lingfeng was the first to respond. He knew that he was definitely amongst the number of people that Long Chen was talking about. You're disappointed? I'd say that you're the most disappointing of everyone here. A generation's expert without the slightest manners of an expert naturally can't get along with us. Criticizing others just shows what a petty little person you are. Such a person is not fit to attend this gathering, said Huang Fian of the Xuan Beasts. A selfish person like you won't be able to make any major accomplishments. If you want to leave, then leave. No one will stop you. Another person in the crowd spoke out, dissatisfied with Long Chen. Quite a few other experts were looking at Long Chen coldly. Although they didn't say anything, it was possible to see the disdain in their eyes. Their meaning was clear. It did not matter if he was in this gathering or not. In truth. The way that Long Chen had been talking and laughing with Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, Yi Lingxian, and Yi Zhikiu had drawn the dislike of many people. Now that Long Chen had said that he wanted to leave, most people wanted him to hurry up and scram. Let's go. Yi Zhikiu held Long Chen's hand. She knew Long Chen's character. He wouldn't just sit by and endure while Zhao Wuji insulted his lovers. That was his reverse scale that no one could touch. This flaw had already been found out by everyone, and they knew that using this method to antagonize Long Chen would always be effective. This was a fatal weakness, but it was also what made Yi's Hikyu's heart his. A man who was willing to risk his own life for his women was a blessing. Long Chen smiled at Yi's Hikyu, seeing the warmth in her eyes. The two of them prepared to leave. Yi Lingxian sighed. Since that's the case, I'll leave too. Many thanks for your hospitality. Mr. Yuyang, Yi Lingxian moved, and then Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang also followed. It was Bidang Rushuang who said, How boring. If I had known the gathering would be like this, I wouldn't have come. The two of them both walked away, causing Dongfang Yuyang's expression to change. Chapter 2089 Kun Pengzi Bidang Rushuang was actually standing by Long Chen's side. As long as Long Chen left, she would leave as well. Nangong Zuaya was also with Bidang Rushuang, expressing her attitude without saying anything. That made everyone's expressions change. 
If two of the four everlasting families left, then this gathering of past and present heroes hosted by the Dongfang family would become a joke. Adding on the Martial Heaven Continent's number one alliance leaving, what would even be the point of holding this gathering? If this gathering doesn't have Long Chen, then it really is meaningless. I can only leave. Sorry for not living up to your standards, Brother Dongfang. Amongst the crowd, Hu Feng cupped his fists toward Dongfang Yuang apologetically. It seems that I came at a bad time. As soon as I get here, I have to leave. Zi Yan sighed, looking at Long Chen. Although she didn't know what was going on here, her meaning was also clear. People were shocked. Since when did Long Chen possess such influence? Even Long Chen was shocked. The only reason he had left was for his own sake. He knew that he couldn't stay because Zhao Wuji would say even more baiting words. He wouldn't be able to sit there and be insulted like that. That was directly against the nine-star hegemon body art's will. He hadn't expected Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang, two supreme geniuses who represented two supreme powers, would also stand beside him. There were only two possibilities. Either the two of them were also outraged for him, or the four everlasting families were not actually as united as he had thought. Perhaps they also had some kind of mission in coming here, but whatever their reasons. He was grateful that they were standing beside him. For Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang to stand beside him was shocking, but understandable to him. However, when Zi Yan also spoke up, he found it incomprehensible. Looking at Zi Yan, Long Chen felt that there was something different about her, but as for what that was, he couldn't say for sure. Everyone here is a supreme genius. There's no need to let something minor harm our friendships. Wouldn't other cultivators laugh at us if we let that happen? This matter is all my fault, said Dongfang Yuyang. I was busy with many things and didn't take care to make sure that people showed consideration for other people's taboos. This conflict should have never occurred, and it's my fault that it did. I hope that everyone can give me a little face and let this matter go. Brother Long, is that acceptable said Dongfang Yuyang. Dongfang Yuyang had already taken a very deferential position. Long Chen's actions had clearly been in the wrong, but Dongfang Yuyang placed the responsibility on himself. That was already giving more than enough face to Long Chen. If Long Chen still left, it would be incredibly rude. He had no choice but to say, Brother Yuyang is a dragon amongst men. I wasn't trying to force you to do anything. It's just that some people go too far. I want to leave because I don't want to bring you more trouble. If certain idiots keep talking the way they have been, I won't be able to hold myself back. At that time, I would just make things harder on you. Long Chen didn't want to go yet. He wanted to see how much his pill would sell for and to see if he could buy anything good. But Zhao Wuji was too vile. If this place wasn't the Dongfang family, Long Chen would have long since slaughtered him. Dongfang Yuyang was practically flawless with how he had handled things, and when it came to Long Chen's matter, he had clearly been biased toward protecting him. He said, don't worry about this. Starting today, I will be in charge of accompanying everyone. I trust that everyone will give me this face. All right, if you say something like that, I'd feel bad leaving. Long Chen walked back. Zhao Wuji, Shai Lingfang, and the others' expressions were a bit unsightly. But if they continued targeting Long Chen, it would be a slap in Dongfang Yuyang's face. So they only snorted. This matter was suppressed just like this by Dongfang Yuyang. Bidang Rushuang smiled, knowing that with her and Nangong Zuayu standing beside Long Chen, Dongfang Yuyang would be forced to concede. Thank you, transmitted Long Chen to Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu. He was very grateful for their help. He also cupped his fists in thanks toward Hu Fang. Hu Feng had also stood by his side, meaning that he viewed Long Chen as a friend. Hu Feng was the gambling heavenly Deo's heir. He was mysterious and powerful. Even here, he had a powerful position. Not having to leave made Yi Ling Shen sigh with relief. When she had left for this place, Hu Jinying had repeatedly warned her to look after Long Chen and make sure that he didn't cause any trouble. However, there was no way for her to look after Long Chen. If they had returned like this, Hu Jinying would give them a blistering lecture, rather than forming good relationships with the powerful existences that had appeared, they had instead solidified their enmities, 
She really didn't know how she would be able to explain herself if they left like this. The new auction room was already ready. It went without saying that the Dongfang family's efficiency was amazing. In the second room, Long Chen still chose to sit at the back. Yi Lingxian, Yi Zhikyu, Nangong Zuiyu, and Bidang Rushuang followed him. But what he didn't expect was for Zi Yan to come as well. May I ask if there is a spot for me? Asked Zi Yan. Of course. Please. Sit. Long Chen naturally wouldn't refuse. Zi Yan's display just now had been an expression of goodwill. Although he still didn't know her exact standing point, her action just now was enough. Zi Yan greeted the others. Her special Tao charm that contained the essence of the heavenly deos made even Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang view her with respect. Nangong Zuiyu in particular was getting along with Zi Yan very well. After just a few words, it was like the two of them were close friends. Zi Yan's experiences and comprehension resonated with Nangong Zuiyu's in many areas. The two of them began a long conversation about all things within heaven and earth. After just a few exchanges, they were holding hands, quietly discussing something. Long Chen held Yi Zhikyu's hand while talking to Bidang Rushuang and Yi Lingxian. At the same time, he was paying attention to what was happening at the front of the room. Suddenly, Zi Yan sent him a spiritual message. Long Chen, you don't need to guard against me any longer. I think that we won't be enemies in the future. Really Long Chen was pleasantly surprised. Yes, my ancestral master said so herself. The Great Era's arrival means that the Dark Era will quickly follow. Right now, everyone must be united to defend the Martial Heaven Continent. Whether you're a hero or a devil, as long as you choose the right opponents to face, your name will be immortalized throughout history, said Zi Yan. It was like a weight had been lifted from her shoulder. Are you referring to your faded devil star, probed Long Chen? Zi Yan had once told him that he was her life's faded devil star. Even now. Long Chen didn't know just which rat bastard had come up with such a pain in the ass nonsense. In any case, Zi Yan seemed to believe it without question. The two of them were fated to be mortal enemies, and she had constantly wanted to purify him. As for Long Chen, he had been unable to bring himself to kill Zi Yan either, so she had always been a sore point in his heart. Zi Yan smiled. The devil is born from the heart. The heart devil is also a kind of trial. I promised my master I would overcome my heart devil. I will never, with you. Well, in any case, we won't be enemies in the future. Long Chen didn't notice the pain that appeared deep within her eyes when she said that. In order to no longer be enemies with Long Chen, she had promised the elusive music immortal palace that she would not have any feelings toward Long Chen. She had even sworn this oath in front of the ancestral master who had presided over successive generations. Although she would no longer have to be enemies with Long Chen because of her master or her sect's orders, when it came to her relationship with him, it could no longer progress a single step forward. As long as we're not enemies, it's good. To tell the truth, it was really hard on me every time you appeared to block my path. Long Chen smiled. As he was looking into the crowd, he was only happy, not seeing Zi Yan's sadness. Brother Pang, haha, you finally arrived. Just at this moment, Dongfang Yuyang, who had been personally greeting everyone coming in, stood and welcomed someone. When that person appeared, all the experts in the room focused on him. They knew who he was. Kun Pengzi. He's actually also awakened, said Bidang Rushuang. Who is Kun Pengzi? asked Long Chen. Could it be that he's? Yi Lingxian turned pale. Yes. The son of the Peng Emperor whose wings shattered all Deos and whose claws slaughtered heavenly geniuses. The Peng Emperor's blood flows through his veins. He is said to be the Xuan Beast's strongest expert. Nangong Zuiyu nodded, also staring at him. He is a true Emperor's son. It is said that he obtained the Peng Emperor's complete inheritance. For him to awaken now, he's probably also aiming to corroborate his Tao, said Zi Yan. The Peng Emperor was one of the true three emperors. The experts recognized throughout history to be second only to the sovereigns. Kun Pengzi was the son of an emperor, who had directly inherited his father's bloodline. Long Chen looked closely at Kun Pengzi. He was nine feet tall. Taller than humans but not particularly tall for a Xuan beast. However, his blood chi was incredibly strong. 
His face looked like it had been carved by a knife. His nose was extremely high and had a slight hook at the end. There were runes flickering within his eyes. He's a lightning cultivator. Long Chen was startled. Yes, the Peng Emperor was born being able to control lightning. His killing power was exceptionally terrifying. As his son, Kun Pengzi is naturally able to use all his abilities, said Bidang Rushuang. Kun Pengzi nodded at Dong Fang Yuyang without saying anything. Turning to Long Chen, he began to walk over. Chapter 2090 Infinite 8 Bitters Root Kun Pengzi began walking over to Long Chen, but halfway there, he turned and walked to Huang Fian, sitting beside her. Huang Fian's mouth moved. Their seat was covered by a sound formation, so it was impossible to tell what they were talking about. Novaloon.com Kun Pengzi turned slightly to glance at Long Chen after hearing what she said. His sharp face was expressionless. Long Chen, you've gained another terrifying enemy. It was said that the Peng Emperor has passed on his life's mission to Kun Pengzi, having entrusted everything to him. He is his true successor. As for you, considering your enmity with the Xuan beasts, there will definitely be a fierce battle between the two of you, warned Bidang Rushuang. Even Bidang Rushuang was worrying for Long Chen. He really was surrounded by enemies, each stronger than the last. A fight's a fight. I'm used to it, said Long Chen indifferently. This was also a reason he hadn't wanted to come to this gathering. This scene was essentially what he had predicted. Of course, hiding was not a solution. In the cultivation world, Yielding and accommodating others would not get you peace. It would just make the storm grow stronger before it crashed down upon you. If you took a step back, your enemies would take a step forward. You couldn't compromise your way out of that. In the end, you would be forced back to a land of death without a chance to turn things around. Kun Pengzi's arrival caused quite a few waves. After all, he was the son of one of the three emperors. His status and position was extremely high. Kun Pengzi as an emperor's son and the pill fairy as a divine daughter were like two huge mountains amongst their midst, suffocating them. Only Shai Lingfeng was glaring at Kun Pengzi. Kun Pengzi was a true emperor's son. Hence, Shai Lingfeng's own status as the descendant of one of the three emperors was now no longer high. First, the Peng Emperor had been acknowledged by everyone as one of the three emperors. As for the Stone Emperor, he had barely managed to get that title because the corrupt emperor had refused to call himself emperor. Even if he called himself emperor, the stone emperor was just gilding his own face. Second, Kun Pengzi was the Peng emperor's direct son with a bloodline inheritance. As for Shai Lingfeng, he was just one of the stone emperor's descendants. The stone race were not humans nor beasts, so there was no such thing as a bloodline for them. Kun Pengzi. Once this gathering is over, I want to ask for some pointers from you. Please show me the supreme techniques of the Peng Emperor in the end. Shai Lingfeng wasn't able to stop himself from challenging Kun Pengzi. However, in front of Kun Pengzi, Shai Lingfeng didn't dare to be arrogant. Even though it was a challenge, it wasn't overbearing. Any time you want, responded Kun Pengzi in a cold tone. As time passed, more and more experts filled the room. Long Chen counted over 80 people. That person is. Suddenly, Yi Lingxian's pupil shrank as she spotted someone at the entrance. At some point, a small, delicate figure had appeared. She appeared silently without anyone noticing. It was like she didn't even exist. If they didn't personally see her, there would have been no way to sense her existence. She wore a black cloak that covered most of her face. It only revealed a straight nose and a small mouth. From her figure and what was revealed of her face, she looked to be around 14 to 15 years old. She hadn't even fully grown up, but her appearance shook everyone present. Every person here, as a supreme genius, possessed amazing spiritual perception, but not one of them had sensed this girl's arrival. Most shocking of all, this girl was the same as the pill fairy. She had a divine ring behind her head casting her in holy divine light. Long Chen's heart shook. He almost instantly thought of a certain name, Dong Mingyu. Back in the day, she had gotten third place on the Devil Slaughter rankings. Now she was appearing before everyone with another status. The ring behind her showed that she was also a divine daughter. Junior sister Dong Mingyu, you're finally here. Dong Fang Yuyang immediately went to greet her. 
with another divine daughter present, the atmosphere grew heavier once more. Even these supreme geniuses, who had swept through their generations, felt a mountain-like pressure in the face of those who had the inheritances of gods. Dong Mingyu nodded without saying anything and walked over to her own seat. Her hood was up, not allowing anyone to see her expression. For her large cloak to cover her small body was a bit odd-looking, but the sight of her made every expert feel a profound sense of fear. The Blood Kill Hall was legendary for its assassinations. They were skilled in killing targets far stronger than them, as their ordinary disciples could assassinate targets across realms. Their divine daughter must be even more terrifying than them. After Dong Mingyu's arrival, there were a total of 87 people. Long Chen didn't see Mo Nian's figure anywhere. Respected heavenly geniuses, thank you for attending our third auction. This auction is the most important one, and I trust that it won't disappoint you. The original pill appraiser who had hosted the last auction came up once more, his voice resounding throughout the room. Perhaps he simply understood the characters of heavenly geniuses, and he didn't waste words. He got straight to the first treasure. This is an infinite eight bitters root, an immortal remnant. It has long since gone extinct, and this root here might be one of a kind. It contains eight kinds of bitterness, birth, age, sickness, death, parting with love, meeting with hate, failure, and the five sufferings of the Skandhas. It penetrates deep into the heart and can temper the will as well as bestow comprehension of life. It is one of the best medicines for peering into the heavenly deos. It can be said that this infinite eight bitters root is a priceless treasure. But the regretful thing is, due to how old it is, it has used up almost all its spirituality. It only has the slightest trace of life left. As a result, its medicinal effect has sharply dropped. And as for the eight realms of bitterness it embodies, their essence is sharply discounted the middle-aged man couldn't help having a regretful expression. Such a priceless treasure had been wasted like this. The other experts' eyes had been shining at the start, as they had heard of the great name of the infinite eight bitters root before. However, if such a priceless treasure had lost all its energy, then it wasn't really valuable. They even guessed that this infinite eight bitters root was something someone had just tossed in because it was useless. Its actual value was very low. The middle-aged man continued. Although its actual value is now low, it can be considered a one-of-a-kind object. So we decided to use it to open this auction. Whether or not it's useful depends on the person. I'm sure many of the heavenly geniuses here have some interest in it. The infinite eight bidders root. Starting price of 30 underworld spirit beads. Each bid must be 5 beads greater than the last. Let the bidding start now. Long Chen's heart pounded wildly as he looked at that infinite eight bidders root. It was definitely an extremely precious medicinal plant. It had no tear, but if refined into medicinal powder, it could be merged into many kinds of medicinal pills to increase their quality. Any pill its powder was added to would no longer be as explosive. That middle-aged man clearly knew that, which was why he had such a regretful expression. It had too little life energy to refine into medicinal powder. The amount of energy it possessed was probably only enough for one expert to experience the eight bidders realm, and that realm wouldn't be as perfect as before. The starting auction item was extremely important. It couldn't be too precious, or it would overshadow the following items. It also couldn't be ordinary, or people wouldn't be interested in the rest of the auction. So the first item had to be attractive while not being very expensive. Thus, this deteriorated infinite eight bidders root had been tossed out. 35 underworld spirit beads. Someone immediately shouted a bid. 40 underworld spirit beads. 50 underworld spirit beads. The price grew higher and higher. It quickly reached 75 underworld spirit beads. This bid was from Huang Fian. After this bid, many of the other bidders shook their heads. This price was too high and they also didn't want to fight against Huang Fian who was famous for being a petty woman. 80 Underworld Spirit Beads Just as Huang Fian thought that the infinite eight bidders root was about to enter her pocket, Long Chen opened his mouth. This time, Long Chen didn't have Bidang Rushuang act for him. Last time, she had done it for Long Chen to get some advantage. However, this time, it was different. As an alchemist, Long Chen knew why Huang Fian wanted this infinite eight bidders root. 
Her spiritual strength was her weak point as a Xuan beast. She had always wanted to make up for it. Furthermore, as a Xuan beast, her comprehension of the eight bitters like birth, age, and death was below average. So even though this infinite eight bitters root had almost lost all its power, someone as rich as her could afford it for the chance that it might allow her soul to advance. She had clearly shown her hand. This eight infinite bitters root was a must-have for her. If Long Chen made Bidang Rushuang bid for him, she would draw the ire of Huang Fian. Pulling someone he trusted down wasn't something that Long Chen would do, so he bid himself. As expected, Huang Fian instantly became frosty. She turned around to glare at Long Chen. 100 Underworld Spirit Beads. Huang Fian was enraged. She thought that Long Chen was intentionally finding trouble for her. 105. Bid Long Chen. He also viewed this infinite eight bidders root as a must-have because he had the primal chaos space. He could restore it and grow more. That would be of great help in his alchemy. Long Chen, you are courting death, roared Huang Fian. An invisible pressure burst out of her, startling the other experts. Chapter 2091 No Effect? Huang Fian's furious shout made the others in the room frown. Just how petty was she? Everyone wanted treasures, and this was an auction. Why couldn't others bid on something just because she wanted it? Bidding was courting death? The Xuan beasts were definitely too big for their britches. With shit like you here, why would I need to look for more shit? Long Chen was also enraged. This girl was too arrogant. Why couldn't he bid for this? He rarely stooped to the level of women who irritated him. But this Huang Fian was too infuriating for him to hold back. Bidang Rushuang almost spat out her tea after hearing this. Quite a few people were looking at Huang Fian oddly, some of them having a faint smile on their faces. Huang Fian took a few seconds to react as she didn't understand the human language as well as them. However, when she realized what Long Chen had said, she turned ashen with rage. She pointed at Long Chen, about to burst into curses. Sit down, Pen Kunzi suddenly shouted at her. Huang Fian unwillingly glared at Long Chen. But she swallowed what she was about to say. Clearly, even someone as willful as her had to listen to Kun Pengzi. It could be seen just how grand Kun Pengzi's status was amongst the Xuan beasts. Dong Fang Yuang couldn't help frowning. He had previously said that he would accompany everyone now and that they were to give him face by not causing any more trouble. Zhao Wuji and Shai Ling Feng hadn't provoked Long Chen, but Huang Fian seemed to have not heard Dong Yuang's statement irritating him. However, Dong Fang Yuang also did not want to expel her unless he was forced to. If he casually kicked people out, that wouldn't be in accordance with the goal of this gathering. Fortunately, Kun Pengzi was present, suppressing her. Seeing this, everyone realized that Huang Fian was even more unreasonable than the story said. Perhaps only Kun Pengzi could keep her under control. Mr. Long Chen bids 105 Underworld Spirit Beads. Are there any higher bids? If not, I'll have to announce, said the middle-aged man. 200. Huang Fian spat out her bid. 200 Underworld Spirit Beads was an astoundingly high bid. Even though these heavenly geniuses didn't lack money, this was no small amount. Even a hundred would not have been worth it for this measly withered root. For her to bid 200. Perhaps she had gone insane and simply wanted to go against Long Chen. 205. Long Chen's bid calmly came out once more. Flames almost exploded out of Huang Fian. She had already come to the conclusion that Long Chen was going against her. Each time, he was bidding five beads more than her. He was clearly toying with her. This was no longer a matter of price but a competition of wealth. She refused to believe that someone with no backer could compare to someone like her in terms of wealth. She was about to bid 300. Give it to him, said Kun Pengzi indifferently. What Huang Fian was enraged. Even Kun Pengzi wasn't letting her continue. If you can't learn to control your emotions, then even a pile of infinite eight bidders roots wouldn't help you. External power can only assist you, but cultivation relies on yourself. Do you think a little infinite eight bidders root can change your fate? That's a joke. If you could learn to see yourself clearly, that would be even more helpful than ten infinite eight bidders roots. Refusing to accept a simple setback like this means that you will never be able to step to a higher level. 
Every person requires setbacks before advancing while constantly strengthening themselves. Of course, some people manage to advance with no setbacks at all. But I'll tell you this, those people all died without understanding how to stop and take a look at where they were. They just blindly charged forward. What kind of accomplishments could they have? Said Kun Pengzi coldly. His words were heard clearly by all the experts because Huang Fian had shut down the sound formation in order to shout at Long Chen. Everyone quietly nodded. Kun Pengzi was a true expert. Even as a Xuan beast, he was cool-headed and able to control his own emotions. No wonder the Peng Emperor had chosen him as his heir. After all, Xuan beasts were still beasts. They were easy to anger, and their comprehension of the heavenly deos was a far cry from humans. The heavens had given them powerful physical bodies and long longevity, and in exchange, stripped them of their comprehension toward the heavenly deos. People said that the heavens were fair. If they gave you something, they would also take something else away. In the same vein, if they took something from you, they would also quietly give you something. Perhaps that was the true essence of the heavenly deos. Kun Pengzi was calm and steady, truly possessing the mannerisms of an emperor. Huang Fian appeared particularly immature in front of him. 205 underworld spirit beads going once. 205 underworld spirit beads going twice. 205 underworld spirit beads going thrice. Congratulations Mr. Long Chen on obtaining the infinite eight bidders root. Announced the middle-aged man in charge of the auction. Long Chen's lips curled. What congratulations. This thing was trash in other people's hands. It was only useful to him. If it weren't for that idiot Huang Fian, this thing's price would not have surpassed 50 underworld spirit beads. However, an auction wasn't the place to get an advantage. The second item quickly went up. It was a set of bone armor and was also an ancient relic. There were divine runes on it, but just like the infinite eight bidders root, it was damaged. There was no way around that. These things were too old. Many parts were incomplete and that was the only reason why their owners had been willing to auction them off. Despite the damage, the bone armor had many rare runes on it, and so there was value in researching it. There was definitely some potential there. The bone armor drew quite a bit of attention, going from a starting price of 30 underworld spirit beads all the way to 150 in no time at all. In the end, the winning bid was made by Nangong Zuayu for 180 underworld spirit beads. She was particularly fond of these things that had historical value. Last time it was a tortoise shell, and this time it's bone armor. He, if you add some tofu, you can make a delicious stew. Then if I added the infinite eight bitters root, it would definitely be nourishing. Joked Long Chen. Nangong Zuayu smiled. Both times, she had bought bones. For a girl to keep buying such things was truly a bit strange. Just as the third treasure was put up for auction. The items that Long Chen and Nangong Zuayu had bought were brought over. After obtaining the infinite eight bidders root, Long Chen couldn't stop his heart from wildly pounding. If it worked, he would profit endlessly. If it didn't work, those 200 underworld spirit beads of his would have been for nothing. Long Chen directly tossed the infinite eight bidders root into the primal chaos space. He covered it with the life dirt. However, he was disappointed not to see any reaction at all. Normally, whatever plant he threw in, even if it was just a branch, it would quickly start to revive and grow. However, there was no sign of that from the endless eight bitters root. Long Chen sighed inside. It seemed that this endless eight bitters root had run out of all its vitality. Even the primal chaos space was unable to revive it. The auction continued. It went without saying that everything being auctioned off was an amazing treasure. Every item was enticing. Long Chen wished he could buy them all, but he didn't have that much money. At this time, Long Chen saw what powerful foundations these ancient existences possessed. He had thought that the 500 underworld spirit beads he had obtained with the 100 flower da resonation pill would make him rich. But now he found that these 500 underworld spirit beads weren't that much at all. Many people were bidding over 500 underworld spirit beads. For example, Nangong Zuayu had spent over 600 underworld spirit beads. Long Chen looked at her directly and asked if the people in her home were all this rich, eliciting a laugh. Zhikyu, do you see anything you want? If you do, just tell me. 
Although I'm out of money now, I can always borrow some and buy things for you. My two big rich creditors are right here. Long Chen smiled at Yi's Hikyu. Yi's Hikyu had always been icy, and Long Chen wanted to improve the slightly cold atmosphere of their seat. Let me tell you, I'm not lending you any more. I also don't have that many underworld spirit beads, warned Bidang Rushuang. This fellow had no money and still offered to buy things for others. He was truly shameless. I don't see anything interesting, but my master gave me 300 underworld spirit beads this time. Long Chen, you can use them. Yi's Hikyu took out a cosmos bag and gave it to Long Chen. Long Chen was immediately embarrassed. It was just a joke, but Yi's Hikyu had taken it seriously. Just how could Long Chen take Yi's Hikyu's money in front of everyone? Ah, I never thought that the great Long Chen would have the potential to be a gigolo. Bidang Rushuang laughed. After being teased by this slippery fellow for days, she finally found a chance to counterattack. With Bidang Rushuang saying this, Long Chen really couldn't accept this cosmos bag. Seeing his embarrassed state, Bidang Rushuang laughed delightedly. Long Chen simply told Yi's Hikyu to keep it for now, and if there was anything good that appeared, they could combine their underworld spirit beads to buy it. By this point, the prices of the treasures appearing were growing increasingly high. A killin' horn. They even have such a thing, exclaimed Yi Lingxian suddenly. A giant horn had been brought onto the stage. Divine runes still flashed on top of it, and an incredibly ancient aura was emitted. This was definitely not a damaged item. The appearance of the Killin Horn brought intense competition. In the end, it was Huang Fian who managed to purchase it for 1080 Underworld Spirit Beads. That was the highest bid since the auction had started. Huang Fian happily took away the Killin Horn. Clearly, it was very useful to her. Everyone. The Killin Horn was one of the three top treasures of this auction. In other words, there are still two more priceless treasures coming up. Those who haven't managed to win anything, don't miss this chance. Here is the next treasure. It is definitely exciting and desirable. The middle aged man pushed open a red curtain on the stage, causing countless startled cries to ring out amongst the crowd. Chapter 2092 related to the sovereign's hand seals began to appear on top of the stone stage blossoming like flowers and revolving around a medicinal pill. That pill was like the bright moon surrounded by stars. It appeared especially mysterious and dazzling. A top grade 11th tier medicinal pill, and furthermore it has the mark of heavenly lightning. It's a tribulation pill. The experts here all had immense experience and instantly recognized this medicinal pill's quality. Huang Fian in particular began to tremble. Although she didn't recognize what this pill was, she could sense its power. As those hand seals blossomed, soul energy crazily rushed toward it, surging through the walls. This pill was condensing the soul energy of all things within heaven and earth. It was a truly shocking scene. After three breaths time, the middle-aged man said, this pill's name is the thousand hand soul condensing pill. It is an extremely rare tribulation pill, let alone in the current age. Even in the ancient era, such a pill was rarely seen. I'm sure everyone here is aware that any 11th tier medicinal pills that still exist were nourished through special formations and never went through tribulation. That's because the odds of a pill surviving tribulation are too low. It is said that the odds are 1 in 10. But in reality, as an alchemist, I can tell everyone that the actual chances definitely do not surpass 1 in 100. Just refining a top grade 11th tier medicinal pill is as difficult as ascending the heavens. Sometimes. It doesn't just rely on power but also luck. Even a grand master of the pill Dao may not manage to refine a top grade 11th tier pill in their lifetime. Some grand masters strived their entire lives to do so only to fail. And countless geniuses of the pill Dao have lost their lives in pursuit of refining a top grade 11th tier pill. That's why this thousand hand soul condensing pill is so precious. Please don't misunderstand. I'm not saying this to embellish this medicinal pill. This pill was offered by a certain heavenly genius, and it doesn't matter to my Dongfang family how much it sells for. It wasn't the Dongfang families? People were stunned. Who would actually auction off a tribulation pill? Instantly, quite a few people glanced at Long Chen. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. This appraiser really said a lot of extra words. Was he trying to make a target of him? Long Chen, 
Is this thousand hand soul condensing pill yours? Asked Bidang Rushuang. Yes. Long Chen nodded. There was no need for him to lie to them. You really are an idiot. How could you sell off such a precious tribulation pill? Bidang Rushuang was shocked. I need money. Long Chen shrugged. He wasn't born rich like her. Bidang Rushuang looked at him like he was a wastrel. That made Long Chen laugh. This pill was something he could refine as many of as he wanted. This treasure in other people's eyes was nothing to him. Although the middle-aged man hadn't directly said that the owner of this thousand hand soul condensing pill was Long Chen. Most people had already guessed it. The news of Long Chen obtaining the moon and star refining furnace and the nine lotus soul condensing pill had already spread. As for this thousand hand soul condensing pill, it had a similar effect as the nine lotus soul condensing pill. If someone had both, it truly was possible to sell one. Although I'm sure you've guessed the effect of this thousand hand soul condensing pill, let me give a brief explanation. It nourishes the soul, but that's not all. It will leave a seed within the Yuan spirit. Like this, the consumer and the pill will become one, and for one year, the pill will continue nourishing the soul. The thousand hand soul condensing pill's essence is to nourish the soul with all deos. Furthermore, this pill is most likely 10 times greater than an ordinary top grade 11th tier pill. That's all I have to say. The starting bid is 500 underworld spirit beads, and each bid must be 50 beads greater than the last. Let the bidding commence. Even the middle-aged man was getting excited. As an alchemist, auctioning off a tribulation pill was also a kind of honor. 1000 underworld spirit beads. Huang Fian immediately doubled the price, indicating that she had to obtain it. 1100. However, her high bid didn't scare off others. Bidang Rushuang also took action, immediately adding another 100. Do you want this thousand hand soul condensing pill? Asked Long Chen. Fool, who wouldn't want such a treasure? Bidang Rushuang rolled her eyes. Long Chen stared blankly at her before realizing the issue. These ancient monsters had definitely consumed medicinal pills to increase their spiritual strength. With their status, even top grade 11th tier medicinal pills weren't out of their reach. However, every pill could only be eaten so many times before it lost its effect. Normally, a pill would only have half the effect if someone had already consumed an identical pill. By the third pill, the effect would have dropped by half once again. Moreover, the fourth pill would have almost no effect. Their bodies already had a resistance toward ordinary top grade 11th tier pills. If they wanted to power up again, they would need something much stronger. And so a tribulation pill was their best option. Only a tribulation pill could stimulate their potential with 100 perfect effect. Other than Long Chen, practically everyone wanted to increase their spiritual strength immensely. So these spiritual medicinal pills always went for high prices. 1,300, 1,500. The price crazily rose. It quickly broke past 2,000. At that point, Bidang Rushuang shook her head and gave up. Although this thousand hand soul condensing pill was valuable, there was no way to buy it at a reasonable price. Everyone was fighting for it. The final price would definitely be beyond its actual value. People were still fighting over it when the bid broke past 2000, 2800, 2900. At 2900, the bidding was done by just two people. One was Huang Fian, while the other was the pill fairy Yu Kingsuan. That was a bit surprising. They didn't know why the pill fairy wanted the thousand hand soul condensing pill. Pill fairy, this thousand hand soul condensing pill is very useful to me. If you are generous today, I will definitely repay you in the future. Huang Fian actually spoke softly to the pill fairy. The pill fairy hesitated before saying, This thousand hand soul condensing pill is different from ordinary tribulation pills. It was refined with some special techniques. I'm very interested in it, so forgive me for not being able to concede Huang Fian was enraged once again. She had already taken on a humble attitude, almost begging her, but the pill fairy refused. Getting angry is an instinct, but controlling your anger is a skill. Anger cannot resolve problems. Only by calming down can you find the key to resolve your problem, said Kun Pengzi calmly. He was sitting to the side, his eyes closed in meditation. Huang Fian took a deep breath, calming herself down. She said, 
Pill Fairy, if you are interested in this pill, then how about you let me have it, and I will lend it to you to study for 10 days? How is that? Huang Fian now realized that the pill fairy wasn't interested in the medicinal effect but the techniques used to refine it. As for Huang Fian, she wasn't interested in those alchemy techniques, so she had finally figured out a way for the two of them to compromise. In truth, she was a bit afraid of the pill fairy. After all, Pill Valley almost controlled the lifeblood of all the pills on the Martial Heaven continent. No one knew just how much wealth they had gathered over the years. In any case, it was definitely an unimaginable amount. That was why Huang Fian didn't dare to challenge the Pill Fairy in wealth. Furthermore, Pill Valley and the Xuan Beasts were not enemies. They could even be considered allies. There was no need for them to fight. The Pill Fairy considered Huang Fian's request and then nodded. That's acceptable many thanks. Huang Fian was delighted, thanking her graciously. In the end, for the price of 2,950 underworld spirit beads, the thousand hand soul condensing pill entered her pocket. The bit of 2,900 underworld spirit beads had been made by the pill fairy, so Huang Fian had no choice but to increase the bid by 50. Despite that, she was crazy with joy. That's clearly cheating, said Long Chen hatefully. If the two of them had continued competing, he would have been the one to benefit most as it was possible to consult with other potential bidders. What was the point of an auction? That's about enough. A normal top grade 11th tier pill would go for around 30 underworld spirit beads. 10 times that price is 300. While this price is almost 100 times that, it's a huge amount of money. So you should be happy. Consoled Nangong Zuayu. This price really is high. Long Chen. Did you know in advance that Huang Fian and the pill fairy would fight over it? So you put it up for auction, asked Bidang Rushuang suspiciously. What are you nonsensically spouting? Long Chen glared at her. Other than Yi's Hikyu, the others laughed. In truth, Long Chen had only calculated in Huang Fian. He hadn't thought that the pill fairy would join in. He knew that Huang Fian would go all out to obtain this thousand hand soul condensing pill. Originally, Long Chen had been planning on bidding against her just to drive the price up. But then the middle-aged man, that idiot, had said too many words, exposing him as the owner. Fortunately, the pill fairy had competed against Huang Fian, driving the price up a bit. 2,950 underworld spirit beads was an unimaginable amount to Long Chen. With the thousand hand soul condensing pill auctioned off, everyone's attention once more focused on the middle-aged man. He took a deep breath, announcing, this next item is special. Look at it closely because, it is related to the sovereigns. When his final words rang out, it shook the hearts of every expert present. Chapter 2093 Sovereign Seal Related to the Sovereigns? Even Long Chen was shocked. The Dongfang family truly had a terrifying foundation to even take out such a treasure. The curtains were pulled open, revealing eight elders holding a giant sphere. The sphere was three meters wide and transparent allowing them to see the strange energy fluctuating within it. These eight elders were nether passage experts, but they were barely able to hold up this sphere. They were already sweating. After placing the sphere onto the stage, the eight of them sighed with relief. Seeming relieved of a great burden, they bowed to Dongfang Yuyang before leaving. Everyone looked closely at this sphere. They could sense holy energy flowing within it. It was like a mountain or a sea, giving off endless pressure. The energy inside the sphere was turbid, and it was impossible to see anything inside clearly. Long Chen's pupils suddenly shrank. This aura was familiar. It was the aura of a sovereign. However, it wasn't Sovereign Yun Shang's aura. A memory suddenly appeared within Long Chen's mind. It's him. In his memory, he saw a white-robed man standing in the sky. His eyes blazed like the sun, and his hair was shoulder length. He was like a god as he floated in the sky so bright that others couldn't even look at him, so sacred that looking at him was a blasphemy. The white-robed man formed hand seals that caused heaven and earth to shake. The ground rose, forming a giant mountain, and divine pillars appeared, crashing down. It was the sovereign seal on Devil Spirit Mountain. Long Chen had once looked at him through spastime, and this person had even sent him a message. The Gamma Breaker has finally arrived. Even now, Long Chen didn't understand what that meant, 
but he remembered his aura. Long Chen, Yu, Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang looked at Long Chen with disbelief. Yes, this is definitely his aura, but it's very vague. How curious. Long Chen's gaze was still locked onto the sphere. It was like he was responding to the two of them, but also like he was talking to himself. Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang exchanged a glance, both seeing each other's shock. Long Chen actually recognized the aura inside the sphere. Is it Sovereign Yun Shang's aura? Asked Bidang Rushuang to confirm. No, it's another Sovereign's aura, said Long Chen. He seemed to be lost in his memories. On Devil Spirit Mountain, Long Chen had seen how the Sovereign had created the Sovereign Seal. That Sovereign's power was unimaginable. Even now, he still felt himself to be an ant in front of that power. This aura isn't just indistinct. It feels like it's not authentic somehow. It's very strange. Long Chen frowned. Nangong Zuiyu and Bidang Rushuang couldn't believe this. Legend had it that the aura of the sovereigns could not be remembered by any living being, unless that person was related to the sovereigns in some way. That was why the sovereigns continued to remain mysterious. Even if a person was personally in front of a sovereign seal, once they left, they would gradually forget that aura. No one had been able to change that reality. That was why the two of them were particularly shocked to find that Long Chen recognized this aura, and that he had even seen two sovereigns. The middle-aged man continued, Everyone, prepare yourself to bear witness to the power of a sovereign. The middle-aged man suddenly patted the sphere, and it burst apart. A holy pressure filled the entire room. The middle-aged man was instantly sent flying by that pressure. He smashed into the wall, coughing up a mouthful of blood. All the experts felt that pressure crashing down upon them. It was like a star was crushing them. Many of their seats simply exploded. The formations around them were obliterated. Even the room was unable to endure it. It exploded, and the roof became the blue sky. People were completely shocked. Just this little bit of aura was already so terrifying. After the initial burst, the aura faded. It was no longer so terrifying. They saw a ball of primal chaos flowing and then just barely managed to make out an ancient beast hide. There was a single word inscribed onto the beast hide. Seal. Although it was just one word, it contained the power to seal the heavens and lock the earth. A power that transcended time and space. Each stroke contained a supreme Tao intent. Every stroke was like its own world. This word seemed to encompass the secrets of the cosmos and was an existence outside the laws of the world. A sovereign seal. People stared in amazement at that beast hide. A fierce light shone in their eyes. A seal left behind by a sovereign was priceless. The stone stage was still present, but everything else was a mess. The middle-aged man in charge of the auction was helped up, and after eating a pill, he walked back onto the stage. My apologies. The auction was supposed to be held in the other room which had specialized divine runes to block a portion of the impact of the sovereign seal. However, due to something unexpected, those divine runes were destroyed. We weren't able to install them here in time. So please forgive me, said the middle-aged man. Let me introduce you to this treasure. It is a sovereign seal, but it is a replica. A replica? How is that possible? Startled cries rang out. How could a replica possess that terrifying aura? It truly is just a replica. This sovereign seal was not created by a sovereign. Instead, a supreme existence managed to create this replica from Devil Spirit Mountain Seal. That's why it possesses the Sovereign's aura, but none of the Sovereign's will, said the middle-aged man. Now everyone understood. So this terrifying aura didn't have the true will to transmit it. Otherwise, none of them would still be standing. A simple replica was actually so terrifying? The true Sovereign Seal and the actual Sovereign's were unimaginably powerful. Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuiyu looked at Long Chen. Now they understood why Long Chen had said that the sovereign aura was indistinct and seemed off. Now they believed him. I'm sure everyone knows that Devil Spirit Mountain's sovereign blood seal was set in place by the second generation sovereign, Sovereign Ching Shu. The sovereigns have always been mysterious. They saved the world, suppressing the disasters that struck the continent. However, afterward, they all silently vanished. All they left behind was their names. This sovereign seal does not have the sovereign's blood and only has the shape. It can only be called a replica. 
Calling it a true sovereign seal would be a blasphemy toward the sovereigns, said the middle-aged man reverently. Although it's a replica, to be able to replicate the sovereign blood seal shows that the expert who created this had to have reached an unimaginable height. So even this replica is a priceless treasure. To tell the truth, it is the priceless treasure of my Dongfang family. But in order to express our sincerity, we have taken it out as the final, most precious auction item. All right, that's enough talking. A replica of the sovereign seal. Starting price of 1000 underworld spirit beads. Every bid must be 100 underworld spirit beads greater than the last. The bidding starts now. 1500, 2000, 2500. Even though it was a replica, it still drove people mad. Anything related to the sovereigns was a priceless treasure. If these supreme geniuses could obtain it and comprehend some of the sovereigns will from it, they would benefit for a lifetime. Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuaya were also moved by this treasure, but before they could bid, Long Chen stopped them, sending them a message. Don't be fooled. That sovereign seal isn't a replica. Not a replica? Then what is it? Asked Nangong Zuaya. It's a replica of a replica. Something like that isn't worth any money. Seeing their lost expressions, Long Chen continued. This thing was made by replicating the original replica. The sovereign aura inside is a mess and has clearly been modified by someone. If you bought this, rather than attaining any enlightenment, you might be led astray. And furthermore, what would you want it for? Who cares about a replicated sovereign seal? Every person has their own unique path to walk. Just because someone else was able to walk one path to its peak doesn't mean that we would be able to. Of the myriad deos, what matters is what suits us best. What's the point of blindly following someone else's footsteps? What's the point of wasting that money? I'm telling you that thing is useless. So it'd be better to invest your money in me. Truly, it's a small investment. But you'll get a quick profit. Said Long Chen sincerely. Originally the two of them were listening raptly to Long Chen. He was correct. The sovereigns had walked their own paths. And if others tried to follow, there was no way they could reach the same height as the sovereigns. It was better to follow their own paths. But toward the end, Nangong Zuayu smiled. After a bit of serious talk, Long Chen once more returned to his normal state. Bidang Rushuang rolled her eyes at him. While the two of them didn't join in on the bidding, that didn't mean that others weren't. The sovereigns had walked their own paths, corroborating their own deos. This was a rare chance for others to gain a greater understanding of how they had done that. The price rose rapidly. Even though it was a replica, people were going crazy for it. Even Kung Pengzi had joined in. Everyone was going all out. But when Kun Pengzi bid 8,000, the replica ended up in his pocket. Kun Pengzi didn't reveal any joy after obtaining it. It was because of his steady and calm expression that so many of the people ended up giving up. They all felt him to be a very terrifying existence. They couldn't read him, so they couldn't tell what his price limit was. The current world had declined. Hence, resources were growing tighter. The underworld spirit beads were extremely precious, and each one that was used was one that they could never get back. 8,000 underworld spirit beads wasn't a price that these geniuses could afford. Congratulations Brother Kuhn on obtaining this priceless treasure. The auction is now concluded. Tomorrow will be the true gathering of past and present heroes. I'd like to ask everyone to gather in front of the heavenly music stone tomorrow at noon. Let us gather all the heroes of the continent for a discussion. Following Dongfang Yuyang's words, the curtain was drawn on the auction. Everyone left. Chapter 2094 Daoist Heavenly Feathers Advice Long Chen and Yi's Hikiu left. All the time holding hands. They said goodbye to Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, and Yi Lingxian. Long Chen wanted to go back into seclusion, but when he said his goodbyes, Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang blushed slightly. He immediately realized that they had misunderstood, thinking that he had gone into seclusion for the sake of continuing the human race. After realizing that, he felt that talking about it would only make it worse, so he didn't explain. Don't work so hard that you miss the gathering tomorrow, said Bidang Rushuang, winking at him. Seeing that smile that also didn't look like a smile, Long Chen felt a fiery sensation. She was definitely a killer seductress. Bidang Rushuang, Nangong Zuayu, 
and Yi Lingxin left together. Yi Zhikyu had a rare rosiness on her cheeks. Looking at Long Chen, she said, they misunderstood that means that their thoughts are inherently dirty. Don't mind them, said Long Chen. Everyone else scattered, doing whatever they wanted to do. As for Long Chen, he declined Dong Fang Yuyang's invitation to a banquet that night. He didn't want any more trouble. He also saw that Dong Fang Yuyang was only being polite. It was a token invitation, not sincere at all. Perhaps Long Chen was too domineering and refused to give him face. Long Chen had too many enemies, and if he really went to the banquet, it was likely that no one would be eating. Long Chen also didn't want to deal with those people any more than he had to, let alone eat with them. It was better for him to chat with Yi Zhikyu. Yi Lingxin accepted the invitation to the banquet, as did Nangong Zuyu and Bidang Rushuang. After all, their status made it so that they had to attend. They represented their powers. They didn't have Long Chen's freedom. Beneath the banyan trees and beside a trickling creek, Yi Zhikyu and Long Chen quietly sat within a little pavilion. Long Chen lay on Yi Zhikyu's thigh, using a leaf to cover his eyes, smelling her fragrance. He felt at peace. Zhikyu, do you still remember when we first met? Long Chen smiled. Yi Zhikyu rubbed Long Chen's forehead, a trace of warmth appearing in her eyes. Of course I remember. At that time, we were still young. We all longed to step into the cultivation world and become the brightest star in people's eyes. We had grand dreams of our names being immortalized throughout history. However, even after so many years, even though our cultivation bases grow ever higher, we have only ended up with more worries and pressure. Yi Zhikyu sighed. At the beginning of her path, she had thought that as long as her cultivation base was high, she wouldn't have to worry about anything. She could live freely. But now, Despite being at a level that she would have never imagined back then, she still didn't feel free. Long Chen held her hand. The pressure is there because we know our duty. It shows that we've matured. We are no longer children just thinking about ourselves. Life is beautiful, but it's definitely not perfect. Troubles will never cease. So we have to get used to it. Noveloon.com Yi's Hikyu took a deep breath. Long Chen. What do you think the difference between growing up and maturing is? Long Chen smiled. Could it be that the great ice fairy doesn't even know this? I'd rather hear your answer. I feel like growing up is just your body getting bigger, getting stronger. As for maturing, it has nothing to do with your age or your body. It's about your experience. Life is full of troubles. After resolving one, another one comes. The more troubles you endure, the more experience you accumulate and the calmer you'll be. When you encounter trouble, you will think of how to resolve it first, instead of complaining or panicking. Perhaps that is maturing then do you feel that you have matured? Me. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Perhaps I'll never be able to mature in this lifetime. I can't even control my own temper. How can such a person possibly be called mature? Yi Zhikyu nodded. My master said the same thing. She said that you are a contradictory combination of smart and stupid. When you get angry, all your intelligence vanishes. Once you decide on something, no one can change your mind. My master said that for a person to control their own temper is even more difficult than conquering an entire world. So my master wanted me to pass on some words to you. Oh, Long Chen was startled. Daoist Heavenly Feather had actually had Yi Zhikyu bring him a message? Master said that sometimes people should consider all possible options before making a decision. Perhaps people that should have become enemies could become friends. Throughout all of history, those who could corroborate their deos and become sovereigns had help from others. The reason the sovereigns were able to become sovereigns was because they united the people's hearts. Everyone heeded their call, causing heaven and earth to acknowledge them as sovereigns. This great era is approaching its end and the chi flow eruption is near, but no sovereign sprouts have manifested yet. This may lead to a huge tribulation. At this time, we cannot be fighting amongst ourselves, or we'll be injured and weak when the outsiders invade. The martial heaven continent's survival sways in the balance. Daoist Heavenly Feather was an ancient expert who had lived countless years. She was able to see things clearly and could tell just how much danger the martial heaven continent was in. In the past great eras, heavenly geniuses rose and competed amongst themselves. 
From the very start, it was possible to see a few sovereign sprouts. The five generations of sovereigns all started showing their talent at the start of the Great Eras. They had already shown the mannerisms of a sovereign before the Qi flow eruption. There had only been five Great Eras throughout history that had produced the five sovereigns and three emperors. The Qi flow of the world had gathered within them. As for other eras, there had been hundreds of minor eras without enough Qi flow to produce a sovereign. Geniuses such as Kun Pengzi, Shai Lingfeng, Nangong Zuayu, and the like, had all been born during those minor eras. They hadn't been born during the Great Era, so they were sealed in wait for the Great Era. The Qi flow of the world had changed. This was the greatest tribulation ever. Through the descriptions in some ancient documents, it was estimated that the Qi flow eruption this time would be several times greater than what had ever occurred. Others believed that this might very well be the final Qi flow eruption for the Martial Heaven continent. It would also be the final Great Era. All the continent's resources were about to be unleashed, and then it would fully decline until it was destroyed. That was why this was the best era and the worst era for the Martial Heaven continent. The Martial Heaven continent would only survive if it could produce history's strongest sovereign. Even though the Great Era had been here for so long, even though so many heavenly geniuses had been born, there was not one expert who seemed like a sovereign. If this continued, Daoist Heavenly Feather was worried that even before the Dark Era came, the Martial Heaven continent would be too damaged to fight. Long Chen slowly sat up, kneeling on the railing. He looked at the fish swimming in the creek fighting over a piece of food. Actually, there are many instances where understanding things is useless. Your master wants the world to be peaceful. But so what? Is that really possible? No, it's not. True peace can never appear. Competing is the natural instinct of life. Fish compete with other fish. Beasts compete with other beasts. And humans compete with other humans. There is a competition of good and bad, light and dark. We cannot escape that as long as we live in this world. Even if a sovereign appeared, it would only be a temporary suppression of this kind of fighting. Once the sovereign is gone, the fighting will start anew. Without a sovereign present, are people going to stop fighting just because I say I want peace? No, that will only make them mock me. So while I understand your master's meaning, I can't do it. Even if I went to that banquet and expressed my good intentions it wouldn't have any use. Someone who wants to kill me won't let me off just because I lower my head to them once. In fact, going there would make me lose a chance to get stronger. If you want peace, you need the power of a sovereign. Without that level of power, you'll simply be slaughtered. Sorry Zhikyu, I don't want to put you in a bad position. Long Chen looked at Yi Zhikyu apologetically. He couldn't try what Daoist Heavenly Feather wanted him to. Yi's Hikyu shook her head. Walking over to him, she wrapped an arm around his elbow, looking into his eyes. I was just transmitting my master's words. Now I'm done, and my mission is complete. I've already chosen you. Whether you climb a mountain of blades or go into a sea of fire, I will accompany you. Whether that's right or wrong isn't important. What's important is just that you're beside me. I could die for you once, and I can die for you again. Looking into her clear eyes, Long Chen almost cried. Just what had he done to make a fairy like Yi's Hikia willing to die for him? Thinking about how she had fallen in his arms as her life faded away, his heart ached. Don't worry, I'll get stronger. I won't make the same mistake twice. Even if I can't become a sovereign, I will protect you. I won't let anyone hurt any of you. Long Chen rested both of his hands on Yi's Hikia's shoulders, swearing. He pulled Yi's Hikyu away. Let's go. I want to get my underworld spirit beads. The two of them returned to the auction room. The middle-aged man had said that he would send them to him once they were done counting. But Long Chen had said that he would rather personally go because he was about to quickly spend them all. Oh. Long Chen suddenly came to a sudden stop. An expression of wild delight appeared on his face. And he hugged Yi's Hikui. I'm rich. I'm rich. Chapter 2095 Flower Da Resonation Tribulation Pill Long Chen. Are you alright? Being suddenly hugged by Long Chen, Yi's Hikyu cried out in alarm. Long Chen's eyes were even slightly red, frightening her. Long Chen hastily looked around, hesitating. He decided to quickly pull Yi's Hikyu to the auction room. 
Yi's Hikiu looked at Long Chen oddly, not knowing what had happened to him. The two of them walked in and saw that the middle-aged man had been waiting for them. Here are your underworld spirit beads. May I ask if you can help me purchase Peak Dao Transformation Dragon Saliva with these underworld spirit beads? Asked Long Chen, not accepting them. I can, but exchanging so much isn't something I have the authority for. I'll need to get permission from higher-ups said the middle-aged man hesitatingly. Long Chen nodded. That's fine. Please go request permission. I'll leave these underworld spirit beads with you for now. If it's convenient, can you arrange a private room for me? Seeing Long Chen pull Yi's Hikyu away quickly like a wild monkey, the middle-aged man and the other disciples of the Dongfang family present had odd expressions. Youngsters really have a lot of energy, said the middle-aged man in the end. He suddenly turned to those other disciples. What are you looking at? Do you think just looking will allow you to become experts? Being envious is useless. Get to work. After chiding those disciples, the middle-aged man left to see if he could convert the underworld spirit beads into peak Tao transformation dragon saliva for Long Chen. Long Chen, what are you in such a rush for? Yi's Hikyu had been pulled into an alchemy room by Long Chen. Seeing his excited appearance, she was lost. Take a look. Long Chen took out a small thing that looked like a yam. It was only the thickness of a thumb and three inches long. But Long Chen looked like flowers were about to bloom out of his smile. This is. Yi's Hikyu looked at it. There was still some mud stuck to it. So she vaguely felt it to be familiar but didn't recognize it. It's the infinite eight bitters root chortled Long Chen. You actually managed to grow it. Yi's Hikyu was stunned. Although she didn't know of the primal chaos bead, she knew that Long Chen had the ability to grow precious medicines. He, it actually worked Long Chen clenched his fist excitedly. When he had first planted it, he had come to the conclusion that the infinite eight bitters root was already fully dead. There hadn't been any reaction. However, the withered root that he had planted had split apart, becoming multiple smaller roots. Long Chen had assumed that it had simply rotted. But within those rotten parts lay one tiny seed after another. The parent body had withered, becoming nourishment for them, and they rapidly grew. Just now, the reason why Long Chen had shouted suddenly was because he had randomly checked the primal chaos space and had seen them. This infinite eight bitters root in his hand wasn't fully grown yet. Once it was mature, it would be the thickness of a baby's fist and be a foot long. Only then would it possess enough medicinal effect. Fortunately, that wasn't a problem in the primal chaos space. He circulated a spiritual yuan, making the infinite eight bitters roots rapidly grow. The first batch quickly matured. The infinite eight bitters root was very interesting. There were actual male and female roots. The male ones grew faster and didn't grow leaves. They were just one isolated root. As for the female roots, once they grew large enough, a straight pole would grow out of it. It wouldn't grow leaves either but it would have flowers. The flowers would bloom, and every flower had different designs. The flowers didn't bear fruit. Once the female roots were fully matured, the root would quickly wither. Then there would be dozens to hundreds of tiny seeds inside it that would slowly grow by consuming the original root's nutrients. Normally, those roots would have very stringent requirements for what kind of environment they would grow in. Even in the ancient era, it couldn't be planted in large numbers. But that wasn't a problem in the primal chaos space. Zhikyu, I'm going to refine pills. Just keep an eye out for any intrusions and help me when I run out of spiritual strength, said Long Chen. All right, Yi Zhikyu nodded. Her spiritual yuan contained ice energy, so it couldn't be shared. But her spiritual strength was the same as an ordinary person's spiritual strength as long as she didn't deliberately activate her cultivation technique. Long Chen took out the moon and star refining furnace and directly started refining. This time, he added in a bit of the infinite eight bitters roots powder. This medicinal powder contained eight kinds of bitterness, which were eight kinds of realms. It was extremely profound. What Long Chen added in was the bitterness of birth, of life. It had a cohesive power, which allowed more medicinal powders to merge together. This bitterness matched the pill Dao. Hundreds of ingredients would merge into one furnace and have their essence condensed. Being born into a pill, the infinite eight bitters root was a priceless treasure for alchemists. 
After refining out its bitterness of birth, adding it would increase the chances of a successful refinement by 30%. That was a heaven-defying ability. In just an incense stick's worth of time, he had finished merging the powders. He closed the lid and gradually increased the power of his flame. Before this, it took me two hours to finish the merger, but this time, it was done in just an incense stick's worth of time. Furthermore, there were several moments where I was treading on thin ice last time, but they are much easier now. This infinite eight bitters root really is a priceless treasure. Long Chen was ecstatic. Just this treasure alone was enough to be worth him coming to this gathering. As his flame energy grew more intense, the starry runes on the moon and star refining furnace slowly lit up. After being nourished by the heavenly spirit water, it had started to instinctively help him more. Saving his spiritual strength, the flames grew increasingly intense. The furnace was rumbling and shaking. Rather than letting up, Long Chen increased his flame energy. More runes appeared on the furnace, and they were like flower petals. The rumbling caused the entire room to shake. Zhikyu, help me out, shouted Long Chen. Yi Zhikyu, who had been prepared, formed a hand seal. Spiritual strength surged out of her forming a spiritual chain between her and Long Chen. With her spiritual strength helping him as well, Long Chen felt the pressure lighten. He continued increasing his flame energy. Boom. The moon and star refining furnace suddenly shook intensely one final time before becoming silent. Long Chen slowly opened the lid. There was a plump pill lying quietly at the bottom, with countless flower marks flowing around it. Its color was constantly changing. How beautiful Yi Zhikyu couldn't help praising it. The marks moving around the pill looked like they were alive. It'll get even more beautiful in a bit. Long Chen smiled. Nine tiny lightning dragons appeared, circling the furnace. Thunder Force slowly flowed inside. As the Thunder Force entered the moon and star refining furnace, the hundred flower da resonation pill inside shuddered slightly. Light blossomed out of it. It was like a slumbering spirit was being woken by the Thunder Force. This was the special ability of pill lightning. It stimulated a pill's sense of danger, and to survive the pill carved out all its potential. It was a forceful awakening of the spirit. Using a formation over a long time to slowly nourish the spirit was different. Although it could also awaken a pill's spirituality, without that sensation of standing beside death's door, the potential that could be carved out was limited. Having its potential carved out by a formation was passive. On the other hand, being surrounded by pill lightning and wanting to survive, the pill would actively do its best to carve out its potential. So there was a large difference in medicinal effect between tribulation pills and ordinary top grade 11th tier pills. As Lai Long increased the power step by step, the hundred flower da resonation pills power also grew. Flowers of light appeared around it, blocking the thunder force. Eventually, the pill came out of the furnace. It was covered in beautiful flowers that blocked the lightning dragons. That scene stunned Yi's Hikyu. She had personally witnessed a pile of medicinal powders become this terrifying spirit pill. Finally, the lightning retracted and a beautiful pill appeared in Long Chen's hand. Everything within a one-foot radius was filled with a hundred different kinds of petals. The petals resonated with the heavenly deos, filling the room with its Tao charm. Come test the effect. Long Chen tossed the pill to Yi's Hikyu. Me? Isn't that a waste? Yi's Hikyu's eyes opened wide, not daring to accept. After all, Long Chen had put the thousand hand soul condensing pill up for auction, and it had sold for a huge sum. How could she be willing to consume a pill of similar value? Go ahead. Top grade 11th tier tribulation pills might be priceless to other people, but they're like cabbages to me. If you want to eat more, just ask. Long Chen smiled. Just eat it. Because I cannot sense the heavenly deos, I won't get an accurate understanding of its effect. I need to know whether this pill will be effective for our brothers and sisters, and if it can help them awaken their manifestations to become true Empyreans. This was Long Chen's ultimate goal in refining the hundred flower da resonation pill. If it worked, then as long as he had enough time, he would have a powerful legion that wouldn't fear any power or expert. Yi's Hikyu swallowed the pill, and flowers bloomed all across her body. Every flower had fine black strands that absorbed the surrounding Grand Dao energy and poured it into Yi's Hikyu. 
What powerful grand Tao energy. I can clearly sense it. The heavenly Deos have instantly become clear. And even my mental realm is advancing explosively. Long Chen. This is definitely effective. As long as they have enough of these pills. Every dragon blood warrior can awaken their manifestation exclaimed Yiz Hikyu. Haha. <laughs> Good. So what if those monsters have come out? Once my dragon blood legion rises. I'll still slap whoever messes around. Long Chen laughed. A grand feeling filling his heart. He finally had the power to be confident once more. Come. Let's see who's afraid of who. Chapter 2096 More than enough confidence after consuming the hundred flower da resonation pill. A hundred flowers blossomed around Yi's Hikyu, forming a resonance with all the surrounding Daos. Long Chen activated the alchemy room's formation to increase Yi's Hikyu's efficiency. The hundred flower da resonation pill was able to take Grand Dao energy and allow people to absorb it directly through the blossoming flowers. It was a pill any Empyrean who hadn't awakened their manifestation yet would dream of obtaining. Through this test, they found that the effect was truly powerful. Yi's Hikyu hadn't awakened her manifestation yet, but with the pill, she was growing closer and closer with every passing moment. If it weren't for the fact that they didn't have enough time right now, she could have gone into seclusion until her manifestation fully awakened. The strongest aspect of the hundred flower da resonation pill was that after being consumed, it would leave behind its mark. Hence, even without doing anything, the body would naturally absorb grand Dao energy. Even while sleeping, your manifestation could progress. Of course, if you were focused on stimulating that medicinal energy, the effect would be even stronger. After just two hours, Yi's Hikyu sensed the barrier and came to a stop. Long Chen. I've reached the barrier. One more step and my manifestation will awaken, said Yi's Hikyu excitedly. Really yes. As long as I wish it, I can awaken my manifestation. But my manifestation has a wide area effect. So I don't dare awaken it here, said Yi's Hikyu. My master said that based on my speed, I would need two to three more months before fully awakening. But this one pill was able to let me reach the barrier Long Chen was just as excited as Yi's Hikyu. He hadn't known just how great the effect of the hundred flower da resonation pill would be. Even he found it difficult to believe. If it was effective on Yi's Hikyu, it should be effective on all the dragon blood warriors. A legion of fully awakened Empyreans was no longer just a dream. With Yi's Hikyu's help, Long Chen refined three more hundred flower da resonation pills. His success rate was 100%, and they were all top-grade tribulation pills. This kind of alchemy technique would definitely drive the world insane if others knew of it. This was practically cheating. The sad thing is, these pills can't see the light of day. Otherwise, the world would be thrown into chaos. Long Chen couldn't help sighing as he looked at the hundred flower da resonation pills in his hand. Without a certain level of power, he wouldn't be able to expose this. Otherwise, his death would definitely be very cruel. This was a power that could affect the state of the entire continent. After refining those three pills, Long Chen didn't have enough time to refine another one before the gathering. Long Chen and Yi's Hikyu returned to the auction room. The middle-aged man was already waiting for them. Mr. Long Chen, the higher-ups have already given their answer. Perhaps they wouldn't accept this trade for others because even my Dongfang family doesn't have that much of the peak Dao transformation dragon saliva. But since it's you, they'll definitely give you face. You have a good relationship with Fairy Zuayu and Fairy Rushuang. So I trust you know the price of the peak Dao transformation dragon saliva. Normally, one underworld spirit bead can be exchanged for two drops of peak Dao transformation dragon saliva. This is a market price that hasn't changed over countless years. You have 2,950 underworld spirit beads, minus the 305 that you spent. To express my Dongfang family's sincerity and gratitude, we are willing to give you 6,000 drops. How is that? Many thanks. Long Chen smiled. The Dongfang family was being quite generous. Furthermore, while he had heard that this was the market price, the truth was that the peak Dao transformation dragon saliva was extremely rare, so it was difficult to trade for. After saying his thanks, Long Chen left. Yi's Hikyu continued to hold his arm and curiously asked, 
The Dongfang family is so rich, and they're willing to spend a frightening amount of money. What is their goal in holding this gathering? Holding this grand gathering had cost them a great deal of money. Just their courtesy gifts at meeting everyone were already amazing. Then adding all the arrangements that had been made for them. Everything was top class. This single gathering had cost them an astronomical sum. You're not a businesswoman, so you don't understand. Holding this gathering contains a special meaning. Going straight to the source. These giant sects and powers always only care about two things. Power and fame. Through this gathering, the Dongfang family can show off their rallying power. Raising their fame. After all, even the sovereigns needed the entire world's approval to become sovereigns. Another reason is this high class auction they held. They wanted to show the amazing treasures they could trade. Right now, they're losing money, but in the future, they'll make a huge profit. I feel like they're taking a shot at the Huai insect. The business of these high level treasures will be focused on the Dongfang family. After all, these geniuses come from ancient powers, and they are the only ones qualified to conduct business on this level. It seems that the pressure on Zheng Wenlong has grown. Like this, it won't be long before the Huai insect's business is wrenched away by the Dongfang family. SideLongChenNavaloon.com The Dongfang family's goal was very obvious to him. They were spending money to show the Dongfang family's power. However, while Long Chen had approved of the Dongfang family's methods at the start, once they had taken out that replica of a replica of a sovereign seal to con people, he had started to feel disgusted. If it weren't for the fact that Long Chen had seen Sovereign Ching Shu and recognized his aura, he would have also been duped. Businessmen needed sincerity and trust as a basis. 99 times of integrity could be ruined by one fraud. For them to have done some fishy shenanigans in the auction made Long Chen look down on them. If you could afford to play, then play. If you couldn't afford it, then don't try. As soon as Long Chen obtained the peak Dao transformation dragon saliva, Huo Long started to grow antsy. It was like a child that was looking at the candy in their hand. It was already drooling. As for Lai Long, it also thirsted for the peak Dao transformation dragon saliva, but it knew how to control itself. It didn't look as childlike as Huo Long. Here, half for each of you. 3,000 drops each. Long Chen split the peak Dao transformation dragon saliva between the two of them. They immediately devoured the peak Dao transformation dragon saliva. Their bodies quickly began to shine. Lightning and flames raged as they underwent some kind of metamorphosis. Long Chen could clearly feel their bodies slowly growing more solid. It was like they were gaining physical bodies. Peak Dao transformation dragon saliva. Dragon transformation. Maybe they can really become dragons. Lai Long and Huo Long were elemental entities. Not true dragons. But this peak Dao transformation dragon saliva possessed some kind of special energy that was progressing them on the path to becoming dragons. Lai Long and Huo Long were both unbearably excited. They felt their control over their bodies had risen to a new level. Although the two of them were effective in battle, they were unable to precisely control their bodies. Now their control grew to a new level thanks to the peak Dao transformation dragon saliva. It was like a person whose body was numb was gradually regaining their senses. Lai Long and Huo Long excitedly swam through the air in the primal chaos space. Long Chen was also excited. The stronger they were, the more energy he would save when he used them. Long Chen and Yi's Hikiu held hands, walking over to the heavenly music stone. They were rather early, so fewer than 20 people had arrived. Of those people, only three people nodded toward Long Chen which could count as a greeting. The rest of them were icy. Long Chen nodded back to those three. As for the ones ignoring him, he didn't mind. He wasn't money. There was no need for people to like him. Long Chen, you came so early. The two of them had just found a place to sit when Yi Lingxian walked in. How was the banquet yesterday? What did you eat? Your stomach looks like it got bigger. Joked Long Chen. You're still in the mood to joke. Yi Lingxian glared at Long Chen. Sitting beside him irritably. What is it? Yi Lingxian sighed and sent a spiritual message to Long Chen and Yi's Hikyu. Last night at the banquet, Dong Fang Yang tried to resolve your enmities, saying that you were his good friend, and the only thing was that you had a bad temper. He asked people not to make things hard on you, 
But Kun Pengzi immediately said that you were the Xuan Beast's mortal enemy and that he had to kill you. He wouldn't give face to anyone, as this was a matter of principle. Shai Lingfeng was the same, saying he refused to get along with you. Zhao Wuji even said that the enmity between the two of you could not stop until one of you was dead. As for Huang Fian, there's nothing to be said. She hates you to death. Zetianza didn't say anything, but considering where we stand, he doesn't need to say anything. The banquet ended up becoming awkward because of you, and everyone simply left. Big sister Zuayu and big sister Rushuang didn't even get a chance to speak up for you before everyone left. Big sister Zuayu said that there are simply too many people targeting you, and that you might be in trouble after this gathering. Long Chen was surprised that Dong Fang Yuyang would actually speak for him. However, these people didn't give him that face. Long Chen, what's next? Asked Ji Lingxian. What do you mean? There are so many people targeting you. What are you going to do after the convention? Don't you think you should consider leaving now? Leave? Why would I leave? Different situations call for different responses. What's there to be afraid of here? Just because these people were buried in their coffins for a long time. Why should I be scared of them? Ha! Huh. I don't care about their idiocies, sneered Long Chen. These people really thought themselves to be supreme heavenly geniuses? They thought too highly of themselves. Long Chen, the gathering's going to be over soon. Are you prepared to face your death? Just at this moment, Zhao Wuji also walked in, sneering at Long Chen. Chapter 2097 caught Zhao Wuji immediately targeted Long Chen as soon as he arrived. His provocation was so obvious that even Yi's Hikia was enraged. Icy light began to shine in her eyes. Long Chen grabbed Yi's Hikia and shook his head. Indifferently looking at Zhao Wuji, he said, Even after being slapped, you haven't learned your lesson. Were you a pig in your last life? Clapping sounds rang out clearly in the distance as Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang appeared. Walking over, the one clapping was Bidang Rushuang. Zhao Wuji's expression sank. An everlasting family wasn't an existence he could provoke. Long Chen, just wait. Once the gathering is over, it will be time for our battle to the death, sneered Zhao Wuji. Long Chen tilted his head at Zhao Wuji, curiously asking, You've been constantly provoking me without letting up. Is that intentional? His question was a bit strange, but he was confident that Zhao Wuji would understand. A brief flash of concealed shock appeared in Zhao Wuji's eyes which was caught by Long Chen. HMPH, just enjoy your final moments, sneered Zhao Wuji. He then turned away and found a seat for himself. Long Chen looked at Zhao Wuji's back and narrowed his eyes, pondering, what is it? If you're not confident in beating him, you can refuse to fight. With your big sister here, no one will dare to touch you. Bidang Rushuang walked over, smiling. Long Chen tightly held Yi's Hikyu's hand, saying, Thank you for your kindness, big sister. But as you can see, I already have a wife. So again, I cannot stop. Stop right there. I'm already sick of hearing you say that. If you say it again, I'll choke you, said Bidang Rushuang fiercely. He, thank you, but I'm not the kind of person to run from a fight, said Long Chen. It seemed that his expression had made her think that he was afraid. More and more experts arrived as they talked. There were even a few more than during the auction. Even now, Long Chen didn't spot anyone from the Zeman Everlasting family. Only the top genius of the Zeman family was missing from the four Everlasting families. He didn't know why. The Zeman family is at odds with the Dongfang family. It's normal for them to not give the Dongfang family some face, explained Bidang Rushuang upon seeing his questioning expression. It's not just the Zeman family. There are quite a few other ancient powers that haven't come. Either they're quarreling or their disciples haven't reached the necessary height to come here. A few minutes later, the pill fairy arrived. She glanced at Long Chen for a moment but didn't say anything. Then Kun Pengzi, Zetianza, Huang Fian, and Shai Lingfeng arrived one after another. Long Chen also saw the mysterious Dong Mingyu. Dong Mingyu still had a large cloak covering her small body. It seemed that ever since arriving, she hadn't said anything. Furthermore, wherever she sat would definitely be empty of anyone else. No one wanted to sit next to an assassin or have their backs toward her. 
that would make them feel like they could lose their life at any moment. Zi Yan also arrived. She calmly sat at the seat next to Long Chen and smiled naturally at him. She didn't join his exact seat because there were already too many people sitting with him. When noon struck, everyone was already present. A white-robed Dong Fang Yuyang appeared in front of everyone. He gave off a very relaxing feeling. Thank you everyone for giving me the honor of attending the Dong Fang family's gathering of past and present heroes. This gathering is not a martial competition, nor is it a chance to fight for fame or profit. This gathering is purely for us to find a way to coexist in peace and unite against our enemies. We all know that this great era is not just ours. The worlds outside the martial heaven continent who are our enemies are also in their great era. We are getting stronger, and so are they. At this time, we cannot be fighting amongst ourselves. That will only reduce the martial heaven continent's power. We must unite against our common enemies. If we cannot set aside our personal enmities, how will the martial heaven alliance resist the coming of the dark era? Our own deaths won't even be the worst part. What about our families? What about all the lives of the continent? At that time, we would become the sinners of the continent, or more likely, there will no longer be any history of the continent to record us as sinners, said Dong Fang Yuyang gravely. Everyone felt a sense of pressure, but no one claimed that he was wrong. He was absolutely right. After every great era had come a dark era, if the continent did not prepare itself, it would pay a miserable price. Temporarily setting aside our enmities and working together is acceptable, but there is one person that must die. Zetianza was the first to open his mouth. His eyes were strangely demonic. Although he didn't look directly at Long Chen, his meaning was clear. He is correct. If this person is still alive, there is no way that we can work together, said Kun Pengzi. His voice was calm without the slightest emotion. It merely contained absolute certainty. Huang Fian sneered and looked at Long Chen. She saw that his expression didn't even twitch. On the other hand, Yi Lingxian and Yi Zhikia were infuriated. An arrogant person who doesn't know how high the heavens are and constantly causes trouble shouldn't exist in this world. The sooner he's killed, the better. Why make things hard on everyone? Added Shai Lingfang. Quite a few experts looked at Long Chen with eyes full of hostility. It seemed they all intensely disliked him. Everyone, listen to me. This is directly contrary to the goal of this gathering said Dong Fang Yuyang hastily. Zhao Wuji suddenly stood up. Brother Dong Fang. We respect you as a person and respect the contributions of the Dongfang family to the martial heaven continent, but this is a matter of principles. We cannot compromise here. Long Chen's character is garbage, and he has made enemies with everyone. No one wants to work together with him, but more importantly, his origins are extremely unclear. How was it that an ordinary person arrived at this level? He relied entirely on slaughter to reach his current height. That is clearly the power of a heaven Caesar from the legends. Everyone's hearts shook. Heaven Caesars were taboo existences. They relied entirely on slaughter to live. They took away other people's lives, absorbing their heavenly Tao energy, their karmic luck, and even a portion of their cultivation base. They were extremely horrifying existences. Zhao Wuji looked at Long Chen mockingly, saying, Although you concealed yourself well, the origins of your cultivation technique are completely unclear. No one recognizes it. To continue skyrocketing with no foundation makes no sense at all. Most importantly, even your dragon blood legion is somehow rising with you. How can you possibly explain such a thing? You, Yi Lingxian stood, shuddering from rage. Just how many years ago had it been since this matter had been brought up and put to rest? Now he was bringing it up again just to target Long Chen. Long Chen pulled Yi Lingxian back down. Looking at Zhao Wuji, he extended a hand graciously. Go on. Continue your show. My show? Haha. <laughs> How laughable. There are so many questionable points about you. Who would be willing to work with you? Just now. I only made two points. But you already can't sit still? Then here's a third point. Do you think your collusion with the original devil race was kept perfectly concealed? You're wrong. Zhao Wuji waved his hand, and a dozen bodies appeared. Those people were all unconscious, but upon seeing them, Long Chen's heart pounded although his expression didn't twitch. 
These people were disciples of the original devil race. Long Chen was very familiar with their energy fluctuations, but he couldn't react. Everyone was startled. They looked from these original devil disciples to Long Chen. Long Chen, now that you're caught red-handed, do you have anything to say? Zhao Wuji sneered at Long Chen, looking like he had already won. Is your head devoid of a brain? Does randomly throwing out a few people mean someone is caught red-handed? Fine. Well I see that based on our height. I'm your dad. How's that? Said Long Chen indifferently. Although he was acting calm, he was actually anxious inside. Just how had these disciples of the original devil race ended up in this bastard's hands? Long Chen had long since had the original devil race's disciples leave the continent. You. Zhao Wuji was at a loss for a moment, and then he suddenly grabbed one of those disciples, clapping the back of that disciple's head, causing him to wake, forcibly backing his words with his spiritual strength. He shouted, Speak, who is he? That disciple looked around. He suddenly cursed at Zhao Wuji, but they weren't human curses, so no one understood what he was saying. Zhao Wuji punched the disciple's chest, causing him to cough up a mouthful of blood. I asked you if you know this person. Talk in the language of the martial heaven continent the disciple looked at Long Chen. He sneered. He's your dad. Ha ha ha. Courting death. Zhao Wuji directly tore off one of the disciple's arms and grabbed his neck. Long Chen was enraged inside. He wouldn't allow a disciple of the original devil race to be killed in front of him. He was about to make a move when his heart turned cold. That disciple opened his mouth and shouted a name. Mixahaya. Chapter 2098 Uncontrollable Rage Mixahaya was the original devil race's god. It was the existence that had been bestowed the devil seal by the heir of the nine stars. This name could be expressed with 18 different syllables from the original devil race's language. Every syllable represented different meanings. Sometimes it could be a hidden signal. Sometimes it could be a prayer. As for this time, this disciple was shouting to be parted for eternity. Before Zhao Wuji or anyone else could make a move, that disciple went limp, his spiritual fluctuations vanishing. Not only that, but he had also used some secret art, causing the other disciples of the original devil race that were lying there to have their souls extinguished with him. They instantly became corpses. Nangong Zuayu covered her mouth, shocked. She was distressed at seeing so many people die at once. Bastard. Zhao Wuji raised a hand about to smash that disciple's corpse to smithereens. Suddenly, a figure flashed into motion. People only saw a blur before a hand slapped across Zhao Wuji's face. Boom. Zhao Wuji was sent flying. Barbed armor appeared on his face, but those barbs were now flattened. Half of Zhao Wuji's face caved in. Long Chen had attacked too suddenly for anyone to react. Impudence amongst the crowd. Shai Ling Feng flew out, smashing his fist at Long Chen. Scram. Long Chen's roar was like the roar of a god. White scales covered his fist as he met Shai Ling Feng's attack. Shai Ling Feng was actually forced back dozens of meters, surprising the others. Shai Ling Feng didn't possess a body of flesh and was made of stone essence. His physical strength was astounding as was his defensive prowess. He could take divine items head on with his hands. But in this direct exchange of power, he had actually lost to Long Chen. After slapping Zhao Wuji and forcing back Shai Ling Feng, Long Chen glared coldly at the others, floating in the air. His killing intent made them shiver. What unrivaled geniuses? In my eyes, you're all trash. If you want to come at me, then do it directly. You want to call this a gathering of past and present heroes? What a joke. With so many pieces of dog shit here, how can this be called a gathering of heroes? I feel like this so-called gathering of heroes is only here to get people to target me. Is this a gathering to denounce me? Ha ha ha. Long Chen raised his head and laughed. The world rumbled as Long Chen unleashed all his resentment. You want to kill me? Then I'll give you a chance today. It doesn't matter if you want to fight one against one or in a group. I'll accompany you. Novaloon.com Long Chen suddenly vanished, reappearing outside the city. Zhao Wuji. Didn't you say that you would kill me? I'm right here. So get your ass out here. Long Chen's voice echoed through the air. The death of those original devil experts had provoked all his killing intent. Long Chen, you bastard. You say you aren't colluding with the original devil race. 
But then why are you so angry? Hmm. Zhao Wuji came flying over. Give it up. Your methods didn't just anger Long Chen. We're all furious with you too. If I wasn't giving face to Brother Dong Fang, I, Hu Feng, would be challenging you myself, said Hu Feng icily. Hu Feng rarely liked to interfere in other people's matters, but Zhao Wuji and the others had gone so far that even he was angry. For the heir of the gambling heavenly Dao to speak up for Long Chen made quite a few people frown. Was Hu Feng on the same side as Long Chen? Brother Long, please calm down. If there are any issues, we can calmly discuss them. Sometimes using martial force isn't the way to resolve things, shouted Dong Fang Yuyang. There's nothing to discuss. It doesn't matter who it is. If they want my life, they can come at me. Zhao Wuji, didn't you want to fight me? Get over here and face your death, sneered Long Chen. Yi's Hikyu and Yi Lingxin flew outside the city after Long Chen. The others also followed. Fine, then today, I will kill you in front of everyone here. Zhao Wuji laughed maniacally, walking over. The outside of the city was a barren desert. Long Chen's black robes fluttered in the wind. Zhao Wuji arrived in front of Long Chen. However, the current Zhao Wuji was covered in black scale armor. This scale armor had countless barbed thorns. It was like he was a hedgehog. No matter who touched him, they would end up losing a chunk of their flesh. Zhao Wuji's armor had a horn on its forehead and a tail on its back. He held two sickle blades that had a cold sheen on them. This armor seemed to be part of him, and there wasn't the slightest gap in any part of it. He looked like a monster in human form. Long Chen Dying to my complete life ripping armor and moon slicing sickles is your best ending. Zhao Wuji rubbed his blades together, emitting an ear-piercing sound that made people's hearts clench. Do you think Long Chen will be able to defeat Zhao Wuji? His armor is insidious. The slightest carelessness can lead to death, said Bidang Rushuang. Normally, Long Chen was a slippery scoundrel, but with his killing intent surging out of him, everyone was seeing his domineering side. That side looked more like a death god. Despite that, Bidang Rushuang was still worried. If they were competing in terms of actual ability, she wouldn't doubt Long Chen. In fact, anyone here would be able to easily defeat Zhao Wuji. It was that life-ripping armor that made him so terrifying. It was unknown just how many experts that were stronger than him had ended up dying because of that armor. This was one reason why the Mechanism sect was able to survive to this date despite their infamy. Their mechanisms were too sinister, easily catching people off guard. Everyone watched closely. One was the current era's top genius, who despite being surrounded by enemies, was still living well. The other was a notorious existence whose reputation made countless experts sick to their stomachs. Yet they didn't dare to provoke him. The pill fairy calmly watched that figure. There was a slightly lost expression in her eyes. It seemed like she was lost in some kind of memory. Should I go kill Long Chen first before Zhao Wuji? Whispered Huang Fian to Kun Pengzi. You're overthinking it, said Kun Pengzi indifferently. Huang Fian stared blankly at him. She didn't know what exactly he was talking about. You mean Zhao Wuji wouldn't let me? Kun Pengzi frowned slightly and didn't reply to her. He just watched the two of them in the sky. Long Chen coldly surveyed everyone that had come. If you want to kill me. Then hurry up and come forward. I don't mind fighting you all together. Today, we can resolve all our differences. People gasped at his arrogance. It had to be known that everyone here was a supreme genius. In terms of status and fame, many of them were higher than Long Chen. Furthermore, there were some terrifying existences amongst them. There was the son of an emperor, Kun Pengzi, as well as two divine daughters, the Pill Fairy and Dong Mingyu. If any of them attacked, they would be more than enough to kill him, idiot. First guarantee that you can survive Zhao Wuji's attacks before speaking, sneered Shai Lingfeng. Bidang Rushuang couldn't help sighing at how Long Chen was challenging everyone at once. Why was he acting like an imbecile? Having provoked them like this, then even if he could defeat Zhao Wuji, they wouldn't let him off. If he hadn't provoked them, then maybe if he could defeat Zhao Wuji. Things could end by having her and Nangong Zuiyu stand beside him. There would have been a way to resolve things there. But Long Chen wasn't leaving himself any options. Big sister Rushuang, don't worry. Although Long Chen doesn't act reliably normally, when you need him, 
He's actually the most dependable person. He's only dependable in battle. Comforted Yi Lingxin upon seeing Bidang Rushu Ong Sai. To the side. Yi's Hikyu didn't say anything. She just looked at Long Chen. There wasn't the slightest nervousness in her eyes. Long Chen. You're a shameless boaster. Just how many exchanges do you think you can last against me? Zhao Wuji's voice had also transformed after donning his armor. He sounded like a magical beast roaring. It was painful to listen to. You're the shameless boaster. After slapping you so many times, you still haven't learned your lesson. Does your face not hurt when you boast now? Asked Long Chen. Everyone's expressions became odd. It seemed that this truly was the case. The fact that Zhao Wuji had been repeatedly slapped in the face by Long Chen was something that they found inconceivable. They didn't know how he had done that. Die. Having his scab picked at. Zhao Wuji furiously transformed into a streak of light charging at Long Chen. Two black wings spread on his back, and his armor began to shine. His sickle blade slashed toward Long Chen mercilessly. Chapter 2099 Heavenly Dao Spirit Silver He was fast. Appallingly fast. Zhao Wuji's black wings had runes flashing on top of them, allowing him to break through space. He arrived in front of Long Chen in an instant. His sickle blade slashed toward Long Chen like two giant pincers, one from the left and one from the right. With a cold snort, Long Chen's foot stamped on the air, and he shot back, avoiding the blades. He had just dodged the two blades when a long needle appeared in front of his face. Zhao Wuji's sickles had actually been bait. The true attack was his sharp tail. That tail was like a scorpion's. It had 18 segments, and the tip was a sharp needle. Long Chen punched the needle, and an explosive sound rang out. Long Chen's fist was covered in blood. His scales were actually split apart by Zhao Wuji's needle. The blood that came flowing out was black and smelly. Ha ha ha, your reactions aren't bad, but this is just the start. The main course hasn't even started. Do you have any last words? Zhao Wuji floated in the sky, his black wings flapping and his tail swaying. He smiled coldly. Long Chen had been injured in just the first exchange. The experts below were sighing inside. This Zhao Wuji was even more difficult to deal with than the legend said. His techniques were bizarre, and all their combat experience was useless in the face of this strange armor. You're not qualified to hear any of my last words. Long Chen flicked off the blood. Zhao Wuji's armor was extremely toxic, but those toxins couldn't invade Long Chen's body. You're still talking big. Let me see just how much longer you can last. Zhao Wuji transformed into a series of after images that shot at Long Chen. Long Chen snorted and charged straight at Zhao Wuji as well, seemingly unafraid of his armor. Just what is Long Chen thinking? Is he an idiot? Bidang Rushuang cursed as she watched Long Chen foolishly charge at Zhao Wuji barehanded. Zhao Wuji was like a hedgehog. What kind of idiot would choose to fight him with their fists? Long Chen definitely has his own plan, said Yi Lingxin. However, even she wasn't entirely confident in that. Boom. Long Chen was prepared for a direct clash with the Azure Dragon scales covering his arms. But just as he was about to receive the attack of Zhao Wuji's tail, a sphere came out of the tip and exploded. Countless needles shot out, filling the air around them. There was no way to dodge that many needles. With a shout, Long Chen suddenly smashed his fist forward, and his immense power caused space to cave in. The needles in front of Long Chen were sucked into that collapsing space and then actually flew back toward Zhao Wuji. What a refined counterattack. This move of Long Chen's made even these experts sigh in amazement. Long Chen's force had to first go from hard to gentle, and then back from gentle to hard in an instant. That kind of adaptive ability was admirable. The regretful thing was that these needles merely bounced off of Zhao Wuji's armor. They didn't harm him at all. Suddenly, the runes on Zhao Wuji's chest began to move. Long Chen's scalp turned numb, and without even thinking about it, lightning wings appeared on his back and he dodged to the side. Dozens of black lights shot out of Zhao Wuji's chest, bringing with them a space-piercing sound that almost shredded people's eardrums. Those black lights vanished beyond the horizon. They were so fast that no one even managed to see what they were. From that space-piercing sound, they could guess that they were some hidden weapons. For there to be so much power behind them, anyone struck would probably have their body directly explode from the impact. Seeing all this, 
Everyone felt a chill. Zhao Wuji was too insidious. This life-ripping armor was filled with mechanisms. Even if your cultivation base was higher than his, you would lose your life from the slightest carelessness against him. Those mechanisms were fast, but Long Chen was not slow either. It was as if he had known what would happen, which allowed him to move before the attack even appeared. Long Chen was about to counterattack when he found that Zhao Wuji was already shooting back. That wasn't because he was dodging Long Chen's counterattack, but simply because firing that attack just now resulted in him sending himself flying away. Long Chen shot after him with his lightning wings. His fists were a blur as he attacked. Long Chen began a fierce battle against Zhao Wuji and his life-ripping armor. Mechanisms popped up one by one, coming from Zhao Wuji's wrists, shoulders, elbows, groin, neck, back, waist, knees, ankles, simply everywhere. As a result, light sounds would ring out along with the launch of each mechanism. There were several times where Long Chen narrowly avoided a fatal blow. Zhao Wuji's mechanisms came in an unending torrent. Just watching Long Chen dancing on a tightrope like this made Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuiyu sweat. This intense battle could make people's hearts clench. Every inch of Zhao Wuji's life ripping armor had a hidden mechanism that would suddenly appear. So that's it. Kun Pengzi suddenly muttered to himself as he watched their fight, his words mystifying Huang Fian. Zhao Wuji was startled by Long Chen's spiritual perception. Every time he unleashed an attack, Long Chen would be able to sense it and just barely dodge his killer attack. This life-ripping armor of his had over 360 mechanisms, and each mechanism could unleash different kinds of attacks. In total, he had over a thousand killer attacks. However, in front of Long Chen, his unending killer attacks had lost effect. Not one managed to show results. The thing that made him uneasy though was that as their battle continued, Long Chen seemed to be growing more familiar with his techniques. Zhao Wuji was no longer able to pose any danger to Long Chen. He's just probing my skills. Zhao Wuji came to a frightening realization. He suddenly found that in just over an incense stick's worth of time, he had used up over a thousand mechanisms in their fierce fight. Now, Long Chen would already be dodging as he activated his mechanisms. With a furious howl, Zhao Wuji's armor lit up. His blades unleashed an explosion of light as they slashed toward Long Chen. Boom. Long Chen was forced back, flinging off some blood. He smiled. What? Are you not planning on using the mechanisms that you're so proud of? The two of them were maintaining their original distance from before the battle had started. Bidang Rushuang sighed. Watching that battle had been intense. Zhao Wuji's life-ripping armor was so dangerous that any mistake could have been fatal to Long Chen. Yi Lingxian said that she wasn't nervous and that she was confident in Long Chen, but even she had some sweat on her palms. This Zhao Wuji was practically a killing machine. By this time, many people had noticed the clues. At the start, Long Chen had been repeatedly injured, but toward the end, he was able to dodge all of Zhao Wuji's sinister moves, and it seemed to be growing easier for him. You want to test all my moves? Keep dreaming. I wouldn't be able to use up all my moves even while fighting non-stop for three days and nights. As for you, you will die if you are struck by just one of these moves. Do you think I'm afraid of you? Sneered Zhao Wuji. Long Chen shook his head. I'm not interested in that. I'm just helping one of my brothers accumulate some experience. He might get some inspiration. He's quite the genius. And I'm sure he'd like this gift. Long Chen had activated a photographic jade from the start and even used his spiritual strength to perfectly record every movement of Zhao Wuji's armor. The transformations of the runes, the locations of the mechanisms, the signs before an attack, they were all recorded. Although it wasn't possible to unlock the life-ripping armor secrets just from looking at it, it would be very helpful to Guo Ran considering what a forging fanatic he was. This bastard's really a madman cursed Bidang Rushuang. Was it worth it to risk his life like this? Just how crazy did he have to be? You want to peek at my mechanism sect secrets? Ha 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 ha. Alright, then take a look. Novaloon.com Zhao Wuji suddenly laughed, and his black armor slowly changed color. It went from black to silver. When it was fully silver, heavenly Dao energy boomed. All the experts present let out startled cries. Heavenly Dao Spirit Silver. How is that possible? 
How can he have so much of it? Heavenly Da Spirit Silver was a divine material that had been exceptionally rare even in the ancient era. It possessed its own spirituality and could not be refined from the ores of the earth. Instead, it was extracted from certain meteorites that came from the heavens. It was said that those objects that came from outside the world had absorbed a huge amount of heavenly Tao energy when they broke through the world's spatial barriers. Only after absorbing a huge amount of heavenly Tao energy would it become silver. When it was exposed to the outer world, it naturally absorbed heavenly Tao energy, and some ancient powers used them in their formations to absorb heavenly Tao energy and allow their disciples to awaken their manifestations. However, this kind of precious material could not be obtained just because you wanted it. There had only been a few records of meteorites coming from outside the world. Every time, an intense competition ensued. Even the everlasting families had very small quantities of this material. For Zhao Wuji to have a whole set of armor made from it was shocking. A silver beam of light soared out of Zhao Wuji's armor and into the sky. Heaven and earth shook as endless heavenly Tao energy surged toward Zhao Wuji. Long Chen, I'll show you how great the difference between an idiot like you and me is. Even if you cultivated for a thousand, for ten thousand years, you wouldn't be able to make up for this difference. Zhao Wuji's voice resounded through the air. Rumbling rang out as his manifestation appeared behind him. Chapter 2100 Devil 8 Roars at the Firmament The heavenly Deos trembled as Zhao Wuji's manifestation appeared behind him. There was a giant beast roaring within it. Looking at the giant beast closely, people found that it was a gigantic ape. Its fur was shining brightly, and a pillar of blood chi soared into the sky. Heaven and earth trembled with that giant ape's roar. It was like it wasn't just an image, but a solid existence. Impossible. How could he have awakened this manifestation? The supreme geniuses watching were alarmed. Devil ape roars at the firmament. That's not a manifestation that someone like him should be able to awaken. There's definitely something off. As the ape roared, Zhao Wuji's own blood chi began to shake. The devil ape's blood chi actually merged into his. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, I heard you're not an Empyrean. So perhaps you don't know this manifestation of mine. Zhao Wuji laughed, his voice full of disdain. Long Chen truly didn't know this manifestation. He had never studied heavenly Tao manifestations. He had no interest. In any case, it wasn't as if he could awaken one. Since you're about to be killed by me, I'll explain it to you out of the goodness of my heart. Even amongst Empyreans, there are differences. The heavens will only allow one unique manifestation to awaken at one time. Every unique manifestation has its own name. As for my manifestation, it is a manifestation that only body cultivators can awaken. Its name is Devil Eight Roars at the Firmament. Do you see everyone's shock? I'm not a body cultivator, and power isn't my forte. And yet I've still awakened this manifestation. Zhao Wuji was covered in his shining silver armor with his manifestation trembling behind him. The sight was dreadful. Long Chen, do you know the greatest difference between us? Or perhaps I should say the difference between you and all of us. It's that you are just a country bumpkin who relied on a bit of luck to reach your current height. But so what? Do you even know what a powerful foundation is? I don't know what a foundation is. Nor do I need to know. Long Chen shook his head. You're also not qualified to know. All you need to know is that someone like you isn't fit to stand amongst us, sneered Zhao Wuji. You killed disciples of my mechanism sect today. I'll kill you to announce to the world that my mechanism sect is forcibly rising. Zhao Wuji suddenly flew down at Long Chen. His sickle blade sliced through the air, leaving black tears in the sky. A terrifying aura filled the surroundings. The void is being torn apart. Yi Lingxian couldn't help being shocked. She hadn't expected Zhao Wuji to be so powerful. Zhao Wuji's life-ripping armor is a priceless treasure. But even I have never heard that his armor has a second state. Furthermore, his manifestation was definitely awakened through special methods. His own power wasn't very strong, but it's multiplied by his armor. With this manifestation, his power has erupted to an unimaginable level. Furthermore, his armor is made of heavenly Tao spirit silver and his manifestation is essentially man-made. It can be said that he's a cheating monster. Now we understand why no one wanted to provoke him. Side beating Rushuang. 
Zhao Wuji as a person was trash, but he was still an existence that posed a threat to them. That threat had originally been assumed to be his insidious mechanisms, but the current Zhao Wuji had surpassed everyone's expectations. Other than his mechanisms, he still had such a straightforward move. Zhao Wuji was using a domineering and direct power to attack Long Chen. His blade slashed toward Long Chen, leaving long black marks in the air they passed. You're going to forcibly rise? It's a bit early for you to think like that, snorted Long Chen. Long Chen's five-colored divine ring manifested behind him, and five stars appeared in his eyes. Evil Moon materialized in his hand as well, meeting Zhao Wuji's dual blades. Boom. Huge ripples spread through the air when they clashed. This was a horrifying exchange. Zhao Wuji's immense power was actually unable to crush Long Chen. In fact, it didn't seem like Long Chen required much effort to block him. For a moment, everyone could only stare in disbelief. Just how was this possible? Now that Zhao Wuji had activated the second state of the life-ripping armor, the Heavenly Dao Spirit Silver had gathered a crushing amount of Heavenly Dao energy. Anyone facing him would feel an absolute Heavenly Dao suppression. It's that divine ring of his. It's actually blocking the pressure of the Heavenly Daos. Just what kind of cultivation technique is that? Is it something that has surpassed the Heavenly Daos? Someone suddenly shouted causing people to realize what was going on. As Long Chen's five-colored divine ring spun, the crushing heavenly Dao energy was broken up. The heavenly Dao energy was crashing down on Long Chen like a waterfall, but Long Chen's divine ring was like a steady boulder. No matter how the heavenly Dao energy crashed down upon it, it didn't budge. The sight was shocking, so he did have some skill. No wonder he was able to talk tough. Bidang Rushuang finally smiled. It seemed that Long Chen wasn't as weak as she had expected. In truth, Bidang Rushuang hadn't been looking down on Long Chen at the start. After all, he was the one who had dominated his generation. But after meeting him, her impression of him had sharply dropped. She had come to the conclusion that he was a scoundrel with a glib tongue. There was no way he could stand amongst them. And so she had gradually forgotten that he was also a supreme expert. Evil Moon was locked with Zhao Wuji's blades. Long Chen clearly sensed the ripples of the Grand Dao that were being forced away by their power. He couldn't feel the will of that Grand Dao, so it could be said that this move of Zhao Wuji's was useless against him. I forgot, you aren't even an Empyrean, and this heavenly Dao energy isn't enough to threaten you. Then I'll show you another kind of power. Zhao Wuji's manifestation suddenly shook, and the Devil Ape roared furiously. Blood chains condensed from its blood chi and connected to Zhao Wuji. Zhao Wuji's aura rose explosively. It was like he was possessed by the ape, and he let out a roar. This roar did not sound like it came from a human. Suddenly, Long Chen felt Evil Moon sink as if a mountain was pressing down on it. He was forced back a step. With that single step, a strange sound rang out from the void. It was like the void was about to be crushed by his single step. He was forced back step by step, and every time, the world would shudder. With each step, a sound like a heavenly hammer striking the earth would ring out. Everyone could tell that Long Chen was currently enduring a terrifying power. Clad in his armor, Zhao Wuji looked like a scaled monster. His face twisted into a sinister smile. Don't you claim to be very powerful? In the face of my manifestation, are you feeling despair? Do you realize the difference between us now? Long Chen was quickly pushed all the way down to the ground. When he touched the ground, it instantly cracked. Those cracks spread into the distance, shattering the nearby dirt mountains. Long Chen's expression was still calm. He coldly looked at Zhao Wuji. You're very arrogant. Are you so arrogant that you didn't feel like hearing what my trump cards are? You? You're a country bumpkin with no background. Do you think you're worth me paying attention to? Not just me but none of the experts here care about your abilities. Do you think everyone is like you, forced to gather information on others? No, that's just the display of a coward. We disdain doing such things, sneered Zhao Wuji. Yi Lingxian couldn't help blushing slightly. It seemed that amongst everyone here, only she had done such a thing. Long Chen also hadn't been interested in the other experts. Is that so? Good, very good. What did you say just now? Something about being very strong with your manifestation? 
Do you realize that you're the true country bumpkin? You hid in that rat den of the mechanism sect for so long that you didn't even realize how much the outside world has changed. This little bit of power can't even count as power. I'll let you see what true power is. Long Chen suddenly smiled mockingly. Azure Dragon Battle Armor. Following Long Chen's shout, his entire body became covered in white scales like a set of white armor. A dragon cry could vaguely be heard resounding throughout heaven and earth. Long Chen's blood began to circulate quicker, and a sound like rushing thunder rang out. Heaven and earth shook uneasily. The ground beneath Long Chen shattered as invisible energy surged out of him, blowing apart the clouds. When Long Chen summoned the Azure Dragon battle armor, the distant Huang Fian turned pale. The true dragon pressure coming out of Long Chen made her feel extremely unwell. Now do you know why I said what I said at the beginning? Said Kun Pengzi indifferently. Huang Fian nodded. She had sensed that Long Chen possessed true dragon essence blood from the start, but she hadn't expected it to be so terrifying once he activated it. If she had really fought Long Chen, then the pressure of the true dragon would have completely suppressed her. There would have been no way she could win. Huang Fian looked at Kun Pengzi with admiration. It seemed that he had long since seen through all of this, thinking of how she had wanted to attack before Zhao Wuji. She blushed with shame. She was too immature compared to Kun Pengzi. Boom. Evil Moon shook and Zhao Wuji was forced back. Zhao Wuji slammed his blades into the air, leaving two long black cuts in the sky. Despite that, he flew back for 10 miles before stabilizing. He was shocked. He hadn't expected Long Chen to possess such terrifying power. Even with the life-ripping armor, he was forced back. That's about enough. I've essentially memorized your techniques. All that's left is to kill you. Long Chen's gaze was cold, and his killing intent burst out once more. Suddenly, he vanished.